so so track if you want to if you want to go with me I, I'm going to table table 1a if you if you want to stream separately as well like you can go to a different channel uh, th that's fine too whatever you prefer yeah, I mean, I can go with you. Okay, so I'm going to go to table table A, table one okay. A, table one A. All right. Power lock. Can you deafen yourself so so we can so so you won't be able to hear us? Thanks. And track your muted. Oh yeah. Uh. I actually didn't look at Claude's list, so I don't know what red white is. <laughs> it's surprising. Like I mean, the power loss deck is obviously Grixis. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan. Mark, are we streaming or are you recording? I'm streaming. So we, we are live on Twitch now. I'm very excited at the start of this now. Yes, me too. Let me, let me make sure that we are streaming. Should be live. Wait, why isn't... Let me check. Oh, because of the delay. Right, so yeah, we are streaming now, but there's a five minute delay. So that's why we're, we're, it's not showing up yet. Obviously, it's a lot of Grixis so at this tournament. Yes. And yes. I, I do like the. I do like uh, this deck, this Mardu deck that um, Claude is playing. Oh, okay. Have you yeah, seen I was it? wondering what the... it is. Yeah, it's, it's Mardu. Well, if you look at the colors on the field, Mark. It yeah, is yeah, Mardu, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. at the <laughs> beginning, it was like just the red white land, and I was wondering what it was. And then I, I looked yeah. elsewhere, and now, yeah. I think if he curves out here. Yeah, power law missing his land drop is big here. Like that. The upbraid could take care of the 3 3, right? The upbraid. Would you have abraded or would you have. Uh, I would have abraded it, I think. I would have abraded too, I think. I just think that. Oh, this is. Now abraid is really bad. No, they can't bring it back, right? Uh, what what does this how much does this card cost with the card that played two or three? It is six. Oh, sorry, you, you can't bring it back. No, we're yeah, prototyping. Yeah. So. Oh, but yeah, cut down three. Well, at least it kills Giada, but things are mm. looking grim. It does kill the the cut down would kill Giada. Fuck down killing Giada is only keeping it L B for turn. Yeah, I mean, that, that does do little. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. It's it's too little. It's, just, uh, it's a tempo swing, but it's not really going to do much when. Ooh. Uh uh. Overseer. Interesting. Oh, they also missed their land drop. This yeah. game is going to even it now again. Oof. Hello. The track is commentating with us. Oh, Ooh. perfect. That's perfect. I'm not as fluent with all the cards as you guys are, but just kind of kind of start out. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah, that's a much needed land drop. Yeah. Don't know if that's going to be enough, but well, it's not. It's a step yeah, in the right here. direction. Mm -hmm. Well, another black source next turn now, and. A braid kills one. One more removal would kill the parag paragon. But they'd be down to three. And then there's They're very the far other. behind here. Yeah. Parallels where you have it here, so it's going to. Okay, now this is great stems the bleeding, but yeah, I guess it is just yeah, that's a lot. Break and hold up your counter spell. Yeah, it's a lot here now. And as well, the scarding is also very good for your Aragon. Yeah. Oh, no discard. I think when you jump in and out, it goes to your whole, um, your whole channel. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Ooh, that was misplay as well, that's, so that's fine. I mean, that's, that's, it was over. Yeah, it was yeah. over anyway, there was no problem there. Yeah. So what would you sideboard in here, Mark? Definitely the brother, well... The Brother's End kills a lot of their stuff, right? Plus the artifacts, yeah. too. The Brother's End's good. Uh, so the we're up against... So, so Power Law is up against uh, another mid-range deck, right? So so Claude's deck is basically mid-range but Mardu. It's not an aggro deck. So I guess they, they will try to outvalue each other. There's... Yeah. Since Power Law is on the play, the counter spells are a bit more value, they're a bit more useful. Uh, it's also that Mardu doesn't have counter spells, so like for the very big stuff, uh, counter spells might be good. I think the worst card would be the uh, cutdown. Okay. Right. The That's cutdown. interesting. Yeah. I I think yeah. I guess probably on the play on the draw you want to keep them in. So. I'm just looking at both sideboards here, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Parallel has access to the Brotherhood's end. Mm -hmm. uh, he has access to Cutdown, and he has access to Lily, which isn't good. Uh, he has access to Thorn and Soul Transfer. Yeah. So, he has access to those cards, which, and the, the new Gix command from Brothers War. Yeah. Um, that seems a quite good card. It's probably, I'd say it's good in this match because. It gives you the lifelink, which is quite good. It gives you two plus uh, one, one counters and lifelink on a creature. Mm. Uh, until end of turn, obviously, uh, the, the lifelink. And then it destroys each creature with converted mana color, or power two or less, or returns creatures, or it makes them sacrifice creatures. So I think that versatility is really good. I think as well, Brother's End is good against the, uh, is good against Claude. I think... I I don't like the counter spells. Um, I really don't like counter spell in this in this matchup personally i would personally side them out but that's just me mm. um i would probably i like to be just more spot removal than the counter spells i think the counter spells mm, just maybe uh the stainless stroke is good but the rest of them i, I wouldn't be as we'll see how it works in this match here now because mm. this hand is a good hand on the play I, I want to keep some of them but on the draw like if he wins here, I would cut all of them. I'd cut all the make disappears and then put in a oh, yeah. full stroke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I clawed as well. Uh, well against. Oh, so that's big. to five, I think, right? I mean, I saw the first mull and see the second mull. Yeah, I think I saw. Maybe it's not the second mull. One of one of them anyway. I I, yeah. I, I, I saw one mull. Maybe I definitely saw a mull again. I didn't see this, but then his deck just oh, it is five. Okay, gonna make this match hard then.
So would you just make disappear and play your flash gorger? Yeah, I'll make disappear whatever, like whatever they. Yeah, play it doesn't or... matter what they make disappear. Yeah. yeah, and then flash gorger the next turn. Yes. The flesh gorger. Yeah. Flesh gorger. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see that happening. Yeah. Yeah. Flash gorger. Currently the most expensive card in this set. Really. Yeah. I haven't looked at value of the set. I don't. I'm it's not competing with fan. Brotherhood's End. Oh, I think Brotherhood's End is the most expensive card, isn't it? Oh, oh, is it now? Because the Flesh Gorger is okay. a mythic, is it? They, they were switching places, so maybe. maybe yeah, yeah but it. one is a mythic, and that's maybe why that kind of drives it up a tiny bit more. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, it's not really played. Flesh Gorger isn't very played. No. Yeah. No, it's not. Like, it's a good card. It's uh, It just so happens to be a mythic as well, where that would drive the value up a bit more. Yeah. So, Claude has come back from his... Mull, yes, to be kind of even. It's not even here, but you know, he has a tree tree life linker that he's to deal with, which is a bit of a issue. But I'd say he's fairly. Who do you think Claude is holding up? Emperor uh, could be emperor. Yeah. Emperor, yeah, and emperor is probably that the most makes obvious. the other the other make disappear very good. Yeah, one hundred percent. Here, we'll see the Emperor here now. Oh, Ooh, no. Castle, very good. Oh. That was oh, that was very, very good. So, that really has put Arla on the back foot now, because... Especially with only counter and kill spells in his hand, if he had maybe some yeah. other creature or something. And that's well, that's, that's not a bad draw. That's, that, that's yeah, it has a target. It's uh, the target is the other flesh gorger, the, their own flesh gorger. Yeah. Oh no, Gada. Gada was. Oh yeah, we made he we made he may disappear the Gada. Oh. Boom. Would that have been also your choice? No. Oh, you would have gone for I would pick the Shieldred. I think the Shieldred just is so powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think, I think that... Value. Like, yeah, I, I, it sounds like it's like he's looking at the long game here, but I think Shieldred... I just love Shieldred, I think it's just a good card. And I guess it allows him to the next turn just not worry about his uh, land or his land drop even. So he can just go... Uh, land drop or no land, well here he can just double spell effectively he'll keep his catch spell up but it's gonna effectively double spell here yeah that was my main I'll... consideration there like yeah. if if i had six lands then yeah I, i'd shoulder it but given yeah. i have five lands i'd be really tempted to do to have chosen corpse of, i probably would have chosen corpse appraiser too yeah, yeah, yeah and there you go <laughs> well there's a easy I think this game is tends to be over. Oh. Oh, I missed that. I actually thought that was his. Yeah, his, that's his what choice. I thought too. Yeah, I thought, well, <laughs> yeah. This is very straightforward, isn't it? You're taking book here. Peter? I think so. I would take invoke here. Yeah. I mean, You're remember that they invoke. Like... Oh no, they can't cast invoke. You can't cast invoke. Oh, are they yeah, short one black? Oh, yeah, sorry, they're short one black. Sorry. Yeah. I. I can't some books that makes that be easier. Would you have taken the land there, Mark, though? I, I would, would have take taken the land. The land. I see, see? Yeah, I, I can be responsible. You you have become responsible all of a sudden playing magic <laughs> as well now. It's a very rare for you now to be responsible playing mm. magic. Usually you take the greediest play. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I'll, I'll let like randomness take care of it. I'm going to draw that land. <laughs> yeah, he says five turns later and he has to draw <laughs> land, the same land. <laughs> Yeah, Power Law is feeling the pinch here from all those. He currently has three yeah. pain lands. I can't believe this uh, this Overseer is still there though. Like I'm very surprised. Ooh, staying back. Claude has cool. drawn really badly here. Yeah. He's drawn two more lands and mold as well. So he's down a lot. And then he's also down another two cards as well. So he's down five, four action cards effectively here. So... 
Oh, well, that's an easy block, I guess, for him, because it seems that this overseer is not going to do much else. That, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. That seems fine. Like, this game is pretty much over. I don't know what possibly he could do here. I'm just looking at a sideboard. Farewell, I guess. I mean, but then, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, fair, mm-hmm. a land and farewell would mean he's still in it. Well, uh, Mark, he'll have to find the farewell uh, uh, by... Uh, cunning wishing it because he doesn't even have it in his deck. Oh, okay. so there. So I uh, was looking. Not, not looking at yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's booster tutor maybe. Yeah, um, just looking at here. Like he had. Um, I thought he must have just not just drawn really badly. It's strange. He must have just had lands in his hand, or he had. I'm just looking at the sideboard. Or his, his deck, and I just cannot figure out what cards he had in his hand. Powerlock kept all four despairs. I agree that he could have traded the despair there for a Gixis command. I think that that's yeah. Gixis command has to be has to be in. I, I didn't make this appear on the on the draw. People, I just wouldn't make this appear. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would take out all make disappear. Yeah, and I, yeah. The Gixis command allows you to kind of be more. The Gixis command has to be in. Hmm. Personally, but that's all transfer also has to be. Oh, what yeah, do you think of Sauron here? Sauron is fine. I mean, I think Sauron is fine. Although, Sauron, like, Bird, make, is Sauron, Bird, make disappear? Yeah, definitely Sauron over make disappear. I, I don't like yeah. any of make disappears on the draw versus another mid range deck because it's going to end up that those as long as you survive the first few turns as long as you don't get aggroed out which is unlikely it's going to go long the game's going to go long those make disappears are going to be worthless those make disappears are holding up effectively which is interesting I think it's very hard sideboard I think actually we noticed that in our group that like most people struggle with sideboarding and I think that's the thing where it's like I'm a traditional best of three player from playing Magic for many years, so I think sideboarding is a bit of a second nature to me because it's logical in some ways. Now, obviously, you kind of can turn it between one or two cards where, um, you know, but my you know usual like we, we discussed that there. We had, I hadn't looked at this, these decks beforehand, or we hadn't discussed sideboard plans beforehand, but our logic and the sideboard plans were still the same, um, just from experience. So I think that's quite important. And this hand is good. Yeah. Mm, now it's not as good, but yeah. Still a good hand. He still has to play okay. Harvester in turn two. Yeah. Um, and then he lost the to play Appraiser turn three. So. Ooh. Ooh, sure. interesting. What do you take here? Appraiser? Depends on what I have in my hand, I think. And it's especially true uh-huh. since it's Mardu. Yeah, that's. that's, that's looks interesting. Yeah. That's made. Personally, I would have taken. A turn two well, well, obviously, I would have taken the the appraiser. I think that's the wrong, mm. like blind. Obviously, I can't see what the other players um, do, but because that's the two for one. Yeah, okay. so it it might be telling that they maybe they don't have a way to deal with Shouldred. Yeah, I think definitely kill the two two here, right? Kill the. Made your um, harvester for your teacher, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Seems logical. Now they can play the gorger if they want to, and I think that's a okay. Yeah. I think appraiser is not personally great here because you're on top of your mana next two turns, so I would play the gorger as well. Yeah. It gives you more options. You take the. Um, what's the? Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Harvester is fine. I would have taken the land, but I'm. You have another land in hand. It's it's fine. I know, but I just think that <laughs> your mana, he doesn't have black. He doesn't oh. have double black there. Yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, because he didn't side out any of the invokes. Yeah, yeah so that have, land's actually very have. important. Yeah. Looks like in the other game going on, Sir Hamilton won the first man, first okay. game. Great. The first round or the first game? First game. Okay. Okay. That was a slow game. There's a lot of mirror matches in this, so it's going to be slow turns.
Oh, interesting playing Paragon like that. Because you mean Paragon without? Has... Yeah, you mean Paragon without anything to bring back? Well, also Paragon because he knows uh, about the go for. Oh throat, yeah, so... he can see the go for the throat, right? Yeah. Maybe he has another one and he's trying to draw it out. Yeah, but now Paradox can double spell this turn as well. Can't he? Yeah, he can't double spell. He can. He can blood dice. Go for throat and play the harvester, which yeah. just seems so logical. And like, but also look at look at the uh, look at the cards. That, that this Paragon is not good in this game here. So it's just going to yeah, perfect. So it makes sense. Logical. What creature does he have here? Which I, I actually think there's a creature they they can. I'm just looking at their. So okay, it's not going to do it. Oh, not good. Ooh, that's no, that's a good draw. I think that's a good draw. Oh, oh that no. card is a good draw. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I'm just saying that's not good just to play a. What other um, cards do they have in their hand here? Just looking at his deck. Dutch of the Spirit Realm is there, and... Spill Partition. I think we're seeing the power of this Grixis deck as well. It's just so grindy. Yes. It's the all best the deck. Based, it's, yeah, all it's... the cards based themselves. It's best deck for a reason. Yep. It's been kind of like the best deck for. Uh, well, if it hasn't been the best deck, it's close to the best deck for the last one. Um, it's. Did it win worlds? I think it. The deck, yeah, it it won. Uh, yeah, because everyone no, played. It yeah, it won worlds. No, right? Oh, did it win worlds as well? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nathan won worlds with Christmas. Yes. Because everyone yeah. else played Esper. Yep. Yeah. So now I think no we one's also, playing as No one's... Uh, at this tournament, I think one person could be. Um, no, there's no one's Yeah, I think... Wow, it's not an Asper just fell from grace. Yeah, you have to get. Yeah, you have to get rid of that. Things can go crazy if it doesn't get rid of that. If it don't, doesn't get rid of that. I just don't understand what Claude has in his hand. Very little sense to me. Oh, another, another Iganjo. Yeah. Really big here. So, no, wrong land. Clear tap land, please. Thank you. Clear tap land, please. Thank you. Wow. Well, well, I think it's it. Anders, right? Like yeah, of course, there's only one land up there. I was just kind of willing him into doing it. Claude is streaming the wrong screen, so I can't see what he has. Oh, that's fine. That's, <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. So I need to land this clock playing, actually. Just checking here. Claude is playing 25. Well, Parallel is playing 26. Claude seems to be drawing a lot with Lance in all these games. Nice. Oh, that's, nice. that's the full that's thing. Really that's the full thing. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. That is really good here. It's going to get four life. Kick. Nice. That's really, really good. And oh, he's not. He's, he's going for the kill here. I wouldn't have done that. You no, know, I would have killed the creature as well. But no. well, he's just going for two turns. And what you discard here? Oh, the land's interesting. Yeah, I would have done the same. See, you draw more lands. It's just the way the game is. Yeah, that's fine. You just get shield <laughs> the next minute. Oh, like, I, okay. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, okay, cross. Okay, that's fine. 
Are you not going to just play your land? Yeah, yeah, that's what he was thinking. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're willing him into doing it, Mark. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's deaf, so he can't hear it. I don't know. We're willing him into doing it, though, Mark. So we're saying, yeah. like, oh, he's going to discard the land. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, Juno land. Okay, got for it. See? Yeah, Mark, come on. Lucky, lucky, <laughs> lucky here now. If he hadn't drawn land there, he would have and had discarded the land and just drew it. I guess if he drew an action spell, it'd be fine, but. Yeah, this is what? like I think this is pretty. No, this isn't. Mm, yeah, I guess Claude is a bit uh, on the advantage here. Still, yeah, has... but not huge. Like the game's very close now, and one card could swing it. Uh, like this is good. This is really good. Like really good. And another angel here would be outstanding. Yeah, um, that was really good. That was really good. <laughs> okay, so okay. that's fine. Seven seven comes to the play. Or sorry, what power is the seven five? Seven five. Okay, it doesn't really matter. But the because it's a life linker, it's like a little mini uh, warm coal engine in some way. Ooh. Ooh. The race yeah. is definitely yeah. Paolo might just be over dead here. Yeah. Perlo is dead here. Yeah. Wow. Always. Oh, yeah, it's gonna bluff. Very tricky. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's not taking the bluff. Wow. No, there's no way he could take the bluff. Wow. Yeah. I mean, one okay. of them has vigilance, so he wouldn't. He won't take the bluff. No, right. no, no. He couldn't. But... He couldn't take the bluff anyway. That's good. That's a good game. Like, kind of surprised by how how that game went. In a lot of ways, um, I'll move power law back. Uh, let's go to I'll move Claude too. Let's go to Sir Hamilton. I'm not. I'm not sure. Oh, I think the Sir Hamilton also won already. Sir Hamilton won, and is there anyone else playing? Check. No, no one else is playing. Wow, I'm very surprised by how quick that round ends. Maybe was that just a slow game, or did that round just go very quickly? Well, there were only two matches, so. Like the, the, it could have gone longer because they they were mid range versus mid range. But yeah, since there were yeah. only two matches, there were fewer chances for the rounds to go long. Let me put in the results. Perfect. So let's do that, and then do you mind sending me the link to the event as well, Mark, just so I can look at we can put up the screen. Well, the the what? Do you mind sending me a link to the uh, Machiru event? So oh, I can yeah, just yeah, see yeah. the results and think that I'll share the... Oh, I won't be entering the results on Macharino. We'll... Oh, you're doing it on PCR. Yeah, Sorry, because yeah. the whole... the whole uh, You can't uh, put buys on Macharino. Uh, anyway, here's the link to the event. We'll, we'll be doing that in the top eight. Yes, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the waiting room now. I think everyone is... Let me just check on. I'll go to Sir Hamilton first. Then, uh, if that's done, I'll I'll go back. No, I'll he's, go to I the can see it. victory screen. So, okay. Okay. Let me just enter the results. So, uh. So for the first one, Claude won, right? One, one, two. Claude was the winner, and then it was one, two. Yeah, that's right. Okay. We watched Mark. Yes, I mean just making sure. And then for the second one, you, yeah, you still yeah. Okay, the you. 
So, Mr. Hamilton, do you want two one or two zero? Yeah, you, uh, they're, they're new to, yeah, yeah, they're, dead. Let me let me ping them on the. He's dead. Just dead. Yeah, just confirming because the 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 points matter for tie breaks. Yeah. And who did Sir Hamilton play that round, Mark? Uh, David Raffle. David, it just. Yeah. Uh, we can also ask David. David, uh, can you hear us? Oh, Sir Hamilton doesn't have a mic, so that's we have yeah. a hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he beat me two zero. Okay. Uh, Thanks. I got destroyed. <laughs> Some playing Grixis. Okay, look. Round two pairings are up, so you can see your matches there. Uh, Johnny Magic still will not be playing this round because uh, they have two buys. They're the only one who has two buys. And yeah, Power Law gets the buy for this round, and then the rest have to play. <coughs> And then make sure when you stream, you're streaming the actual MTG screen and not Discord. So when we jump around to look at stuff, we can see, please. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Mark. So what? Oh, this round's al alchemy, right? Yes. So the second the second round is alchemy. So please remember the, the ordering of the rounds. The second round is alchemy. One of GD's favorite formats, I think. Or if not his favorite format. Worst format. <laughs> okay, hey, David, I'll, I'll send you an invite. Okay, and that, I'll, I'll start putting people into the tables already. So remember, please uh, mute and deafen yourself while you're there in the table. If we need to contact you, we will send you a, a DM. Or, yeah, we will send, we'll send you a DM. Yeah, but I'm not a. Uh, I'm uh, still. I'm waiting to be put into my table. I'm already muted. Yeah. You're not muted. Yeah, David, you're not. 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 You're
I sent I sent you a DM like uh, with my user and, and asking if that what if what's your user. Yeah. You don't need to wait for me. Uh, you can you can just play around. Just make sure that you're sharing, and then well, if, if I move you to a different table, that that will you'll still be sharing, so it's still fine. Okay, okay. so I just move to go back to table two, or are we just sharing no no from uh, here? you just you just share. I, I will I will move you myself. Okay. I. Are you still were able to contact J your opponent? He was Aristio playing, uh, Mark. Hmm? He was Aristio meant to be playing. Uh, JF numerable because he did. JF did say that uh, there's a chance he might not make it, but yeah. So I, I guess that's, that's why I'm if he hasn't, if he hasn't made it, we can just. I guess you got, you got here, so you want to do I don't that? really know. I keep two buys. Uh oh yeah, right. But I don't know how to do that, so we might we might just do that. Give it buy. That's fine. Yeah. No, it's easy. Because we're using, yeah, we're using age-old software. <laughs> so it's... the only one that would allow us to do this. So. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, old but not obsolete, obviously. Yeah, as, yeah, as, I mean, still working. As, as Arnold Schwarzenegger said, "Why are power law and in the same?" Let me move power law. Oh, power law doesn't need to be there. Okay. So who else am I not? So just GD and David Draco. Okay. GD isn't here. David is there. David. I'm I'm here. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll I'll, I'll change it to a different table now. Do, do I have to go to the same one from David or? No, no, no. I'll move you. I didn't see that you were there. Okay, I think we've, I've moved everyone except for JF. Uh, uh, Aristeo, can you ping me if he's not yet around? Uh, can you send me a DM if he's not yet around in uh, 10 minutes? Okay. Okay, thank you. So I will move to table one, which is Zeket versus Jolto. Let's watch Jolto. The Zeket has a... Is power law supposed to be in two A with HP wizard? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, I'll, I'll deal with that. I think he wants to watch. Oh, okay. He not. Uh, he's, he has a bitus right, so it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I guess that's fine. I mean, we're we're not going to 
cheat each other. I hope. <laughs> So I'll, I'll move to Jolto. Jolto, can you deafen? Okay, now Jolto is deafened. Wow, okay. Well, we missed a lot. <laughs> so Zeket is obviously playing, no, it's not. Is it Esper control? Uh, it looks Esper like control. That. Let me see if he's screaming out to jump over there. No, he's not. He's not. I, I can see you. Oh, wow. This is just brutal. And there is no... Yeah, I'm thinking if there's a... Uh... I think this game is over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking if there's a... What, what do you call that? Uh, the one where you exile all the attacking creatures and then you get... Oh, yeah. It's re settle the wreckage. Yeah, but that's not here. That's not in Alchemy. No. Yeah. That's, that, I was thinking if it was. So, I, I, yeah, it's not. Yeah, you were. Who's uh, Yeah, it looks like as for control, uh, Zex is holding a couple farewells, a cut down. This, if he could survive this turn, is there any way he can survive this turn from his hunt? Uh, if <gasps> they attack all, probably not. Cause he, yeah. oh, he, has he has one more down. pump. He has one more pump via the one more pump. token. So he could yeah. cut down the, the horde master and reduce, but I don't think... Yeah, that, will, that might like work. That might. Well, let's see. Because then that, that reduces yeah, everyone's then... power by one. No, I don't think but, so, Mark. Yeah, because yeah, he can it, still pump one more. So, oh, wow. yeah, no. the, the, those are two creatures. If he would have survived this turn, he would have, because he had a farewell in hand. But no, he's not going to survive this. But there's lots of cards now. He will have in the sideboard to kind of tackle these decks. Yeah, I wonder who was on the play. That would be interesting if Jolto was on the play. Yeah, probably Jolto must have been on the play there. Could be. I'm also watching the England and France World Cup game. So oh, cool. there's a as an Irish person's a lot riding on the line of England going out in this uh, round. Seem like he's heavily siding. Obviously, small creature removal. He's got a couple Tashes in there. Things like that, so. You know, the play it should be very good for control deck here as well, so. Jolto's hand looks much slower as well compared to the last game. Interesting. Jolto's just brought in a uh, brittle blast. That's interesting, actually. Did he see a lot of the deck? So no, no, yeah, because they th this is closed deck list, so they can't see yeah. each other's decks. So mm -hmm. if it was Esper uh, with shoulder, if it was Esper mid range, then it 
does make some sense to to bring in brittle blast Br- brittle blast because for shouldered and the other uh, shouldered it's just shouldered actually oh the deck is gonna combo here Goblin deck is very cool So like missing his land up here is big. Oh, but he has array out. Yeah, array is, is very good there. Yeah. It looks like HP Wizard took the first game in the other in their matchup. And for everyone who cares, France just scored. So I'm delighted. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna send the uh, raffle in the. I don't know how to do it. Like I know, I know how to do it in Twitch chat. Uh, well, I, I I tried it to practice before, but now it seems easier to just manually do it. Like ask people to type in raffle, and then uh, we'll just instead of right. Or should I do it? Because then. I think this game is over. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Depending on which side you're on, yeah. <laughs> this turn is just crazy. This is why alchemy. I'm not a fan of alchemy. Like here. Oh, interesting. Why was there no attack with the trash master there? It has summoning sickness. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was. I'm asleep here. Sorry. Uh, obviously, summoning sickness. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a reason why there's no attack with the trash master. <laughs> Yeah, they all summoning sickness. I, I just assume every goblin has haste these days, <laughs> so that's my uh Well, they're deafened. Um Zek is holding two temporary lockdowns in his hand, so oh. I don't think it's over. I don't think it's over just yet. Okay. Ooh, that's very good. Temporary lockdown here, it's Well this monarch won't see the light of day again. Ooh, interesting. That must have been a fresh draw. He didn't have that when I just looked. I don't know if that was the best think, play. I don't think it really matters because here, Brittle Blast, attack, 5, 8, 11, 6 life left. Ooh, not Trash Master. Oh, very nice. Okay, so it's even. Yeah, this is. Oh, just lethal. Didn't count properly, obviously. Yeah, that golden deck is sick. It's really good. Okay. So that's no, oh, it's done. Okay, so we'll switch to HP's game. Is that done? Right, it's done, right? No, it's still there's something. It seems. Oh, okay. I thought. I think. Wait, the opponent's at zero.
How good is this sack deck, Mark? I think that's yeah. I think you block sack here. Oh, yeah. you're asking how good is the sack deck? I think it's the yeah. best deck in alchemy. Is it okay? I happen to be in that. Because at one stage, Esper was... I felt Esper was the best deck. Yeah, yes. Uh, but then they nerfed the Diviner. Oh, Diviner's been nerfed. Okay, that's fine. I've been yeah. out of Alchemy for a while. It's um, now a 2-1 instead of a 2-3. Two, a okay, so it's a 3-2... Uh, time, because I guess that's... Wait, this game... Yeah, this is this is looking fair-ish because yeah, like sure. HP is facing down two four fours, but they don't have trample. Yeah, but obviously he's just going for throw here as well. It's going to be used. Yeah. Oh yeah, and one of them's going to die. Yeah, and he gets some life, and also uh, he gets a one one. Yeah. So it's a good exchange. I know you discard a card, but... Ooh, discard's yeah, so, a fable so, now, Mark. So you, responsible. You know, <laughs> I you, would you, have discarded you, you, a land. True. Yeah, of course you would have, Mark. I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. I was like, Mark would have never done that play. Mark would have been discarding that land. I was second to... Yeah, I just I, I, I manually did the raffle. Uh, I just asked people to type in uh, exclamation point raffle. It's supposed to like automatically do it, but I couldn't find the option right now. And yeah, I didn't want to bother trying to look for it. So we will do it manually. Let me get a 20 sided die. <laughs> You're, you can just do it online, Mark. Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, main, the internet, the modern world internet. I can, no, I can do it in Excel on the other computer. It's the thing. So it, so it won't uh, mess up with this screen. You have... One screen or two screens, Mark? I now I have two well two computers, one screen each, and now I'm opening my third computer for the raffle, because the other computer where I I, I put in the uh, where that's where I'm also looking at our Twitch stream. Then I opened my work computer to access Excel because the other computer doesn't have Excel. The so you have to use three computers here. That's great. You yes. just got like an extra screen, Mark. Yes. So you have three I could actually set up an extra screen because we have an extra screen here, but I haven't found the time to do that yet. So. <laughs> Ooh, shelter here is really good. Shelter here is really powerful. Yes. But, I mean... Well, the fable in his hand is just... Yeah. And, and shoulder is going to die here. I think that's three. Shoulder is going to die here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, he is now going to die. There's a two point life swing as well. Yeah. Blood Artist is just so good. Like, Blood Artist was so annoying when it was in standard. It's like, oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh. What was that deck called again? Aristocrats. Uh, Aristocrats, yeah. And it had that Boros Reckoner, uh, Boros Reckoner, uh, what's the other card? Uh, the one where uh, you deal 13 damage to everything? Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a thing. Blasphemous Act. Was Blasphemous called. Act, right. And Boros Reckoner is in play, Blasphemous Act. And... I think this game is over. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think it's... A, yeah. This game is, seems like it's over. To me. 
There's yes, yes, because he can still sacrifice for three more damage. Then he can ping for two yeah. more damage. So yeah, yeah I think it's sacrificed here. For... Yeah. So. And that is it for right that now. match. HP Wizard takes it. Are there still matches we can watch? Yeah, I mean GD. We can go to GD's match. Yeah, let's go to table four A. Yeah, I'm on the way. Hey, Mark. Hey, hello, hello. Oh, uh, please deafen yourself. Mute and deafen. Who, me or? Yeah, you, you. Yeah. Okay. Deafen too. Deafen so, so you can't hear us. Thank you. Well, you can't hear us. <laughs> you didn't hear my thank you. So we're one one. What is David running his standard deck for Alchemy? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. no, no, no. That's good. I mean, it's fine. I, it's legal. I'm. I'm gonna look real quick. Wondering. By the way, that Boris Blasphemous Act deck wasn't actually a good deck. So. Oh, it wasn't a good deck. No, it wasn't a good deck. Exactly. Okay, no, okay. It, was, it was like for the first week. Of the, oh, so another goblin. Oh, this is mono red. No, it's goblins. GD is playing goblins. Oh, GD is playing goblins. Okay. Yeah. It, um... It's mono red. Because why would he run? No, it's mono red. David's playing uh, anvil. Yeah. Okay. The, an alchemy anvil, right? Yeah, yeah. He's got the brush strokes and stuff. <laughs> Brothers, Hood's end here is going to be very good, though. Game I don't know, play. actually. I mean, well, I guess... Game of five. Yeah, this game might be difficult there. Oh, multiplier. Yeah. Because we'll playing see. from the Anvil perspective, unless Brothers' hand is being cast by a control deck, I don't mind it. I think it's because Anvil isn't really... Like yeah, Anvil is its namesake, but usually win through blood artists and other stuff. Oh I think JF is out. Okay, so I just heard from Aristeo uh his opponent he did, JF JF did say that he might not make it. So he didn't make it, uh, and so he wins. Aristeo wins that round, and we will uh, we will drop JF already for the next one since he's not he's not around. He won't be able to make it. Yes. Hopefully, chosen and Dinfo are doing well. That was a very early uh, search there. Yeah, but he's going to drop Array here, which is impossible to get rid of. I know, not impossible. We, we do have Invoke. But... That's just going to do it's a gonna lot. Grind this match, yeah, it's going to yeah. grind this match. If we can't get rid of that, and I don't know if, if David has Invoke in his list post-board. Okay, Shouldred might do some work, but... I don't... I think that's going to be enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. David correctly notes the that there's probably something <laughs> there. <laughs> I, there's nothing better when you do that and somebody's like, oh, this idiot's going to do this, and then you swing back on him. Yeah. Uh, usually, dropping a Shouldred versus an Aggro deck is like game over, but in this particular case, it's 
Na oh, play for its fire is going to take care of the one out he has here, which is to to do use reflection. Just knowing what he could have. Wow, isn't he dead if he does that? He's dead yeah. if he does that. He has no cards would, in hand. Why would Three, he do six, that? seven, eight, nine, ten. He forgot about the pump, I guess. Yeah, he forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It happens. It happens. No, no, it definitely does. Oh man, that was hard. Yeah, you lost that. Did you lo you lo you lost game one or game two? Game one, but I, I lost because I mana screwed. Like I got stuck at two. I, I missed. I, I missed land drop three. Then I drew it and turn four, and then I didn't drop drop land drop four until like turn like ten or something. And and draw. And yeah, my opponent opponent had a had a great had a great draw. So so yeah. Okay, I, I think I'm ready to put in uh, results. I'll put yours first. Uh, so 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 results. Do you do you put them in or do I have to no, report we them? No, we will put them in because it's uh, it's manual. Okay, but so do you like want I need to report one, right? You want two and one, two. Yeah, two I want two and one. one. Okay, so I'm just gonna move to the waiting room. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll also go to the waiting room. All right, entering the results. I have uh, entered. I'm gonna give um, Johnny a message as well to say that we're starting next round. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny, Johnny needs to play already. Yeah. Uh, okay, I have. Zeket versus Jolto. Who won again? Sorry, I. That Jolto was the one. <laughs> that was the one we were watching. But yeah, now I forgot who won. Yes, Jolto won two zero. Okay. Yes. Seka versus HP Wizard. Okay, I have this. Uh, this HP Wizard versus Seka is 2 0. Uh, this is for HP Wizard or for Seka? For uh, HP Wizard. Uh, so HP Wizard one, okay. Yeah, 2 0 for HP Wizard. Thank you. And then Sir Hamilton versus Claude. Yeah, yeah, I won my second round. Okay, Sir Hamilton won to one. Sir Hamilton won to one, right? Yes. We choose it. Okay, so we will now go to round three. Just reminding everyone that round three is historic. Round three. Just reminding everyone, round three is historic. Okay, I will now go to pairings. Pairings are up. I've got Johnny there. He's jumping in there in a second. Okay. 
All right. So again, you can start your matches. Uh, I will be moving you now. Just make sure to uh, uh, deafen and mute yourself when you are in a in, in another table. When we put you into another table. Historic, right? Yes, historic. Table two is Jolto. Are you still? I should really be doing the the later tables first. It's easier to do. Seca flood is table five. Three versus GD. GD is table three. Power law is table four with the second. Johnny hasn't jumped in yet, has he? No, okay. No, Johnny's there. Uh, Johnny's there, graphics is great. Yeah, I need one more table. So we have five rounds, we have five matches now, instead of four. In hindsight, I should have thought of that. You can just use the other... Like, yeah, but it, it, it makes it well. confusing. So, <laughs> it's like people are thinking, why am I in the limited streams channel? Right, table table two I haven't done yet. Table two is Jolto and Aristeo. Okay, Jolto and Aristeo. Oops. And then I'm just missing table four. Five, which is table five, which is Seca versus Claude. Okay. Okay, yeah, so we'll watch Johnny Magic. I mean, first time we're going to be seeing him play in this tournament because he had two buys. So, <laughs> go there. Deaf, Johnny. Uh, Johnny, you need to uh, mute and deafen. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Johnny and I are actually going over to Prague to play Modern in March. Oh, nice! First yeah. time you're going to be seeing each other in person, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I'm just at the book my flights this week now. It's both 31st of March, mm. and it's a Modern tournament, and there's Sealed as well, but Modern is the... Modern the is main, the main event. The main driver for me, anyway. I don't like Sealed. Ooh, so this is the Wizard deck. Yes, yes. Interesting. I think and this hand... The hand there now is kind of that tossies was huge. Yes, yes, critical to get rid of the one wizard in the hand. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. So this this just makes it much more difficult. For HP wizards, very apt playing wizards. And Johnny's playing a combo deck. Oh, is this? Oh, is yeah. this not mid range? Is this a combo? Yes, this, this is the the Ashnod's altar combo deck. 
so the combo okay. is as follows uh, you have if I, you have Ashnod's altar and you have that traveler but you need the traveler discounted you need that, that discounted by two so it will be free so that traveler is actually not 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 uh, useful to Johnny he needs the one that's discounted which you can get via that goblin if you get it from the goblin uh, it puts it in your hand it's discounted by two so it's free you cast Ashnod's altar and then you cast that that traveler for free and then you keep you keep getting a creature playing uh, you, you sacrifice a creature to the altar uh, get two mana back and then traveler goes back to your hand and then you do it over and over again until you whatever you at some point you win there <laughs> yeah there's some well if there. you can get if you can get I think it's four of the of the riders out anytime a creature like then you start stacking those, and every time they stack, you get a two-two for every yes. one. It's if I see this, start to see the stack, and they get to it, then I just scoop. <laughs> yeah. So it's very like uh, Hodak, effectively, uh, in some ways, because Hodak did the same thing before the the bridge from Blood Up Band. He used to build the great zombies from the other zombies dying and sacrifice to altars. So anyway. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Total HP and so we have three, four. Monk is here. Oh, Monk is here. We have three, four. So, what cards does Traveler get? Uh, Traveler gets. A wide so it's it's zombies, vampires, werewolves, I th spirits. So a wide range of creatures among those creature types, I think. Okay, so it doesn't just specifically get one card, or you're not able to. It it's just a value card. Yeah, it's a. Oh, you, sorry, draft. sorry, I see what. Sorry, it's yeah, it's yeah. See, I haven't seen the stick yet. I haven't actually played any Stark in recently. So, HP may want to kill, so there are two targets, but HP has two removal, so prioritizing. I don't think that reflection of Kiki is going to last too long. That's all I know. Yeah, yeah. Because then Traveler also goes back to hand here if if he. Yeah. Let's see. My like Kiki G to obviously this turn, but if that Kiki G wasn't out, usually I would try and take out the Traveler so like. Yeah, because there's still summoning sickness on the Kiki Jiki. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, next turn is nice because next turn is like Johnny can just go off on the Goblin Child Finder, then Diabolic Intent for the Altar. Ooh, that's interesting. Well, okay, if someone obviously needs to get Creature here badly and they didn't, so. Yeah, yeah, that was the main drive, the main determinant of this game is the thought sees on turn one that took that one yeah. two creature. Yeah. Ooh. This is crazy. HP allows them to go off, like you'll see it, it starts to get pretty insane. Oh. Johnny chose not to try and go off this turn. Wow. I think he can join the grindy game though, I think that's just his... Because with so many creatures, if you get the... The wizard deck can't, uh, can't handle the decks going white, so I think that's also a consideration. Yeah, I mean, the wizard's deck does have a problem with. Okay, now it's going. It's going to go for it next turn, I guess. Mm. Yeah, the altar. You saw that there were four flesh gorgers in this deck, right? I yeah. Don't, I guess it's... that's one thing you can cast from the Ashnod mana, but it doesn't have haste. I think a uh, seven five light blink uh, 
wards quicker. True, <laughs> true. Uh, but like, if if you're if you're a combo deck, your opponent can pay the life, right? And and yeah. if he has interaction versus the creatures, I just don't know uh, if that deserves a slot. But I mean, I haven't played this deck for a lot. I've only played it a few times. I think we can say that this turn, this game might be over. Yeah. Because the combo here is alive and well. Alter can just... I guess Johnny's worried about interaction, which is a good... Yeah. Interaction is... Yeah. A bit more conservative than you or I, Mark. Yeah. When he's I mean, he is at 14 board. life, so it's fine. Yeah, and he's also heading the board, so I don't think he needs to get too carried away. He yeah. just needs to come up the board, take over this game, then. Oh, it's a choice. I didn't know it was choice. I thought it was mandatory. I for I... Return. Yeah. Yeah, it's a choice. There's the ball more. You can give it haste, but... But Johnny has a flyer, so he'll get rid of that first. That won't be enough. It gives it trample, though, doesn't it? The yeah. the ball mark is itself trample, yeah. Yes. So it isn't enough here. Is he going to block? Oh, okay, that's fine. Nine, yeah, he has enough life that he doesn't need to block. This also turns on Wizard Lightning. Wizard Lightning can now yes. kill something. So. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now that this is interesting now. This game is very close now, all of a yes. sudden. Yes, yes, all of a sudden. This is very close because uh, HP can deal with the combo. Yeah. And nine life is nothing for wizards. <laughs> it's like. Oh. oh, you're at twenty. <laughs> yeah, it just just it just can win in one turn. Yeah. Now the second Frex and Terror here is really important. Yes. He needs As... to draw the combo. No, he that he did not. He did not get the combo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, John is unfortunate in that he kept drawing travelers and kept getting trap finders from his trap finders. Okay, that's a tree tree flyer. That's good. Hmm. Oh, interesting. He picked that. Yeah, that is interesting. Do you think the traveler is going to get killed here? No. No, there's okay, there's really. no reason to kill it because it's not he's not comboing off of it. Mm. It's not free, is what I mean. So yeah. Okay, that's what Johnny oh, was looking for. Wow. Yes. Okay, that's really but good. Does he have enough? He doesn't. Yeah, he has enough mana. It does. There we go. Uh, he needs to. Uh, he needs to have another vampire, uh, because it depends on how many vampires you have, right? Oh, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, yes. you're right. So it's two. So he just needs two vampires to do this. So a timely. Wizard bolts here will. Yeah, he'll need to wizard yeah. lightning the other vampire. Yeah. Hey, more, Mark. Yes. Yeah, I, I one two zero. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take out the the, the trash, but I one okay. two zero. Okay. Okay. So that counters that. That's fine. But that gives a haste. So is this? You know, it's not lethal. No. I think Johnny might lose this game. 
could, yeah. Kurt I mean, it depends. He, he made he, he, he made the opponent do exactly what he wanted, which was to use that wizard's lighting so he doesn't die from it. But mm. HP but now, still has, yeah. But now he has the pump spell, which gives it plus four. Yes. So a burn spell here could be. Mm, he'd have to have two. We know he's gigantic his hand, right? Yeah. So two spells here because um, we know he is tr so if the bow cards in his hand are s spells um, that we they're unknown cards then this game is probably over but okay I think this game could be over now okay could be could be very no I don't think so because he needs to, the spell he needs the spell to deal damage and kill the 2-2 two -two at the same time he, it won't do both so mm -hmm. if, if Johnny can just block here it's true. He needed those two cards to be other sp like burn spells in okay. order to, to yeah, close yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Mm, this is. Okay. It's three damage. Two wizard lightning, so it's. Yeah, two wizard lightning. Well, I mean, if he had two wizard lightning, he would have done it. He could have won many yeah. other ways. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that was a very close game, though. Yes! It was a very close game. So what do you bring in here? Ooh, uh, uh, claim. I really like, <laughs> claim I really the first like one. <laughs> I really like claim. Claim is very. Claim is very good. I don't think there's much else that. He do you want really the rest? Should... No, 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 no. You just want to focus on killing their creatures. I'm. I'm... Or do you want the oh, rest in place of thoughts? Instead of thoughtsies, yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's a good point, actually. Fable is not good in this matchup, I think. I mean, it's no. too slow. I think Ooh, he's just yeah, shaving, shaving pieces of his combo because he's it's he's going to take a, more time to... He's still the controlled player, effectively, the, in this game. Yeah. He's not the beat down. I'm going to announce the winner for the round... This round's... Ra well, not this, but this raffle. We have, we have a certain number of gem codes that I can give away. But yeah, for this round, I'm going to announce the winner now. So like I said, we're doing this manually, so you can't see it, but trust that it's fair. <laughs> so I have four people, uh, four people. Let me make sure. Monk, Jolto, HP, and Griff, right? Yes. Right, so we will pick one. I will just use Excel to randomly generate some numbers. And the one with the highest number wins. And that is Monk. Yeah, Monk wins the 600 gem code. We'll do one later. Right now, I want to watch this. I, I think that was really interesting. The first turn there, I would have played the Sulphur Springs in the first turn because he was able to. Um, I would have played the Sulphur Springs in the first turn because he was able to claim the Firstborn, the next mm -hmm. creature, and sack it to Frexian Tower. So that would turn on his hand better, effectively. But then that was also, you know. Um, I kind of was thinking that at the time when the play was made, um, mm. but that was probably the life is very important. So it's kind of this trade-off between the life and that play. Ah, uh, because he also had thought seeds in hand, and, and the rest. Well, at least one of those in hand in that turn. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's interesting now. Yeah, he does okay, want so to. Yeah, he does want to do that. There. Yeah. Doing it here now. This is very good that he's doing it before the lands because his opponent doesn't have a clue then that yes. the land doesn't pass priority, so it's very hard here not to it's very hard to like a wizard liking that. That was very hard. I don't know, I don't think I would have done that personally. Yeah, what would have been the 
There's no advantage of doing that because even if he kills your creature, I, I just don't see the advantage there of doing that, but that's just me. Yeah, I think that would I wouldn't have done that as well. I mean, the, mm. I, I could have used that wizard's lighting to go to the face. Yeah, I think that was just a more important. Because uh... he already took uh, the he already took the uh, pithing needle away, so that does mean that uh, the combo is live, right? So you, mm -hmm. you just want to race in that case if the combo is live. Ooh, Ooh interesting. Spell Pierce, that's interesting. Yeah, I would, I would spell Pierce. Spell Pierce is yeah. fine here. There are there are a bunch of spells that you want to counter. But now knowing about Spell Pierce makes that very different. Yeah, now it's very bad. This is you know, it's, mm. there's a Spell Pierce there. What and does yeah. uh, Emergency Wells do, Mark? Uh, it gets a creature and artif creature and artifact, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, returns um, it to your hand. Okay, very good. Yeah. Yeah, and then you get a one one. You get a one one for free. So it's it's mini grave digger, but but does artifacts as well. Okay, this tree tree here seems very powerful. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Wizards on empty board. Not, yeah. Wizard does not like lifelink. <laughs> no. Um, and as well, even if they do destroy it. They can bring it back with the welds next turn. So, or bring it, return it to their hands next turn. So, and there we go. This is perfect. That's very, very good. Yeah. That is very good. So, the weld here, yeah. He's playing it well as well, He's just keeping the information secret. Oh wow, he's going to go for the Traveler? Yeah. Wow. He was playing around the Spell Pierce too. Yeah, that's why he didn't play the the land first. Yeah. Just cause... Would you Spell Pierce here, Mark? Probably not. No. Just, oh, see? I think the Spell Pierce is like, it's a time, it just, it's the slowest in there. And I don't think it's going to get any better. So. Yeah, it's just a surprise card. The spell pierce is a uh... yeah. yeah, it's it's not very good when you know about it, so and it it, it just makes their man a bit more efficient as well. Mm. Where they can do something this turn. Ooh. So This is interesting attack. Oh it's gonna put the traveler first, that's interesting. Oh there's a rare that doesn't do anything though. Yeah. I don't think that rare is very good, Mark. <laughs> I just saw I the rare. Rare. It was like, oh, it's rare. You just saw the <laughs> Mark, you would just pick the rare there, wouldn't you? No, I would have read. <laughs> wow, I think this is amazing how this limited card is going to actually do work here in this game. Um This limited card is going to do a lot of work in this game. I think this game is actually over, which mm. is quite amazing to say already, but um, yeah, I'd because there's a claim. Hard. There's a claim to fir claim uh, firstborn for whatever wizard uh, HP plays. Of course, yeah. Gigantha might be something, but mm, I think Gigantha here. Now do your do your attacks first before you. Uh... Ooh, he can't play both the. Oh, he can play the champion and the thing. Oh, yeah. he can, but you did it wrong. Okay, that's fine. He can do both anyway. It's good. Wow, this deck is very powerful. Wow. Yes. This deck is very, very powerful. Just, just the redundancy in it is very, it's just pretty amazing. I played it after I played uh, Char Belcher, and okay. it's very powerful. But at the same time, if your opponent makes you go through the motions, it your it your average. Time per game is going to be very long, because yeah, but, yeah. But I think that depends on the player as well, and like some players can play these games very quickly. Like same with Mark, you play a lot of sack um, in historic as well, and those games used to go long. But the player who was, a, let's say, more experienced player with the deck was able to play quite fast. 
Yeah. And yeah. know when like that was the most actually that those games were the most the most important thing was uh that your clock in those games. Which yeah. is quite unusual for most effectively aggro decks. Um well, I guess that was more of a combo aggro deck, but it was more common. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It does look like more of a combo aggro. You don't see that very yeah. often, but it is potent, right? Because it's an aggro deck. Yeah. It's an aggro deck, so it can like pressure you, and then yeah. just win from a combo. I, and that's very grindy as well, which is quite amazing for a combo or for an aggro deck to have that like you know long game. Mm. Like here, for example, I don't know how anyone is going to get around this kind of grindiness um wow this just this game is unless um does hp have the brothers war um, i don't know any sideboard that's the only thing that i can see here that will kind of bring him back into this game mm. but at the but same time still... if you were hp would you side in brothers and I guess so. No. Or I don't know. I, I don't know. think like so. I wouldn't, I think. Yeah, but I think it's probably... Would you also say in Spell Pierce against a, 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 an aggro deck as well, Mark? It's kind of hard. Like, you know? I, didn't, I didn't understand that it's like very... Aggr- it can get very aggressive like this, but yeah. I, I wouldn't if, if, if that's the idea. If it's an aggro combo deck, then I just focus yeah. on racing it, I guess. Yeah. And actually, he can't. If you think about it, wizard. It, I mean, they he, Johnny really can't combo well versus wizards, right? He's because... gonna make a really nice, nice play there. That was a really nice play, Mark, as well. So you missed. Uh, sorry, uh, he can't combo well against wizards. Yeah, because they have a lot of interaction as yeah. well. But yeah. that was a really nice play there, where he gave his own creature. He, he threatens his own creature effectively. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which was very nice. He didn't attack with his other, his um. The man the other land. land. Yeah. Yeah. Which would have also Yeah, that would have closed the game. But there's no way he's going to die next turn, so it's fine. No no, it's not possible. Wish one card, it's not possible, no. Wow. I have not seen a, a steel clad spirit being cast in a constructive game <laughs> before. <laughs> and it quickly got removed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A limited uh, powerhouse, uh, but now like, oh, look at this! Wow, this is crazy game. I think this consider would want to be outstanding. <laughs> outstanding consider. The brothers? Oh no, it's not going to do it. Yeah, even brothers war won't do it because of the manland. No. I mean, that's true as well, actually. Now the land land does the brothers war is able to. I'm not sure if you. are okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Wow, that deck is really really good. Yeah. Amazing. Let's jump into uh, table two yeah. A. I guess I think they're still he, there. He looks very happy with himself there in in the camera <laughs> there. Hey Johnny. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Sir Hamilton. That's uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, three three B. I don't know if. Oh no 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 no, Aristeo is still playing. So let's go to two B. Two B. Sorry take a... that Quick. I shouldn't show off the of the deck more properly though. No, the deck. I think the deck was very good. Um, Johnny, I, yeah. I think we Mark and I were talking because I haven't seen this first. I haven't seen this deck yet, and it's okay. just for for a, an aggro deck effectively with a combo in it. It's very. It reminds me very of Hodak, actually. Um, yeah, where it's, it's very grindy. It's very much like a mid-range deck. I b- just play like the Top Thief, Fatal Push, the Disruption of Red Black mid-range, and like the good cards like Fable, and uh, um, you just push um, like an eight-card, twelve-card uh, combo in. And like yeah. I never got to go in, which the deck can go, but I was game one. I could have gone for it but like i was just like maybe it doesn't get the combo yet maybe yeah. i just slow roll him and beat him with a, lo- a lot of draft which gem. which was really near your demise, <laughs> which was near your de- demise as well like because that game got very close then yeah. um so it, that was 
Like if he had drawn another spell there, that game would have been you actually would have lost the first game. Yeah. So yeah, no, I I was ready to go uh, try to go off, but like I mistapped. I should have if I had left the red red source open, I would have had the combo. But like I managed to leave the Phyrexian altar untapped when I should have left like a red source. And you you also were very unfortunate there because you kept drawing your your uh, travelers and kept getting your other uh, the goblin from the goblin. So yes. you were yeah. never getting the discounted traveler, which would have made but, it much easier. Yeah. I think. Yes, yes, but that's more or less me punished getting punished for uh, being not playing around that and they're just putting my absolute faith in auto tapper <laughs> i'm going to I'm jump on a, on, on, a quick break game. mark i'll be back okay, in yeah, two yeah. minutes yes cool so explorer next yes cool. i'll jump to a different channel now Oh, I think this is done as well. Oh, Zekat's not yet done. Okay, this is game two. And we have the same deck. This is also... Uh, although the power law is not... It may be... No, power law is playing red, black, uh, mid-range. But Zekat is playing the combo, the Ashnod's Akbar combo. And that Thought Seize is going to take the other Trespasser. get a little out of control if they have enough instants or sorceries. Which one? Pyromancer? Yeah. Yeah, yes. It's a mainstay in modern? We got it. Oh, that's it. Well, well, our removal can still disrupt the combo, but we'll see. There we go. Our law does have Fatal Push. We should still just sacrifice it, yeah. Although he can't do anything with the mana. He doesn't have. Oh, if you would have, if you had the red open, and you could. Cast the Jiganja, but yeah, he doesn't yeah. have the red open. Why doesn't he have that? Was that an auto tapper thing? I think it's an auto tapper thing. It might have been. Yeah. Oh, you're taking that trade. Because he's at nine, so that's uh, that's an interesting thing. Like that, uh, uh, Doogie said, right? That this is an aggro combo there, so that makes it so that you're able to actually pressure your opponent your opponent's life total while you're building up for a possible combo oh a braid okay oh <laughs> uh oh come on <laughs> well <laughs> talk about a top deck a power law does have it. a lot of man lines <laughs> So that, this gigant is gonna be very good. Yeah, but I think the, the, the got uh, got by the auto tapper because he tapped his only mountain. Had he yeah, not it's... done that, he would have played Giganta two turns ago. I I think it's a, like, an automatic thing to turn off on everyone's arena. To be honest, I turned it off a long, long time ago. 
and it's it, it just loses there's too many games where it's important and mm. um, I know this thing it highlights what you're clicking but most people just yeah I, 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 that's happened to me as well so. I think you should exchange yeah you should exchange that for a Giganta Probably want to do oh the the pyromancer would make two one ones. Really? Wow. Hmm. Don't do that. Attack first, Eve. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, what? that. What would you get? Uh, oh, emergency weld. Okay. But you can't cast it. Oh, again with the auto tapper. No! Yeah, and as well, he should have tapped the mana. Like, he should have tapped Gigantic for mana if he's going to do that. Which didn't make sense. No tapper twice, like, it's too much. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Is this 1 1 or is this. Oh, he's up a no, game. No, he's up a game, so there's a uh, game 3. He is at 11 minutes though. It could be that game one he was able to combo off. That's what I am saying, that the combo does take a long time to pull off. There's a lot of clicks. More clicks than the typical sack deck because you have to go through the motions. You get uh, a density of creatures and you can't really win. Especially if you are already on low life total and you need to win, uh, in, you need to win that turn. So you're going to spend a whole lot of time trying to get creature after creature until you build enough creatures to win from uh, multiple of those vampires that steal stuff. Or, yeah, my version of it, the well, not my version, but the one I got had Karn. And Karn would, you'll be able to cast it off of Ashnod mana, and then you can get... Uh, uh, the what was that the four to cast uh artifact uh that gains you life every time you cast a spell and then you can you can pay 50 you can pay 50 life to deal 50 damage or pay 20 life no pay 20 life to deal 20 damage uh, to deal 50 no, damage no it's 50 it's 50 life to deal 50 damage oh, 50 uh, what's damage. the card called yeah i can't remember um. But every time you play a spell, you gain life. Now, yeah. it, here's what you need to attack the Frex Arena. Oh no, you're gonna not tap the Frex Arena. Okay, let's go to. That's what he needs to combo off, yeah. So, ho he's hoping here that he actually gets the card, and he did. And here's where we see the combo. Oh, so it's. Okay, now. Oh wow. Always this kind of, that's why the trap finder is so good with it. Yeah. Every one drop is basically nets you one mana. Oh, I would have taken the champion there. Oh, it doesn't matter. And the vampire. So now you get two zombies. Yeah. 
Oh, this is obnoxious. Yeah, the, yeah, right? So so you have to go through these. You have to go through the motions on this one to actually win. So it takes a while, is what I'm saying. So that's why in best of one. And what's the, what's the ultimate cards you need to get to? Like, you can't win in one turn. Well, you can, you can. You can get multiple of that vampire that steals creatures. Oh, okay, I understand. Okay. But as you see, it's convoluted to do that here without Karn. Karn, it's easy. You just smack them with that artifact. Needs to conserve his vampire. Oh, well, he doesn't need to conserve his vampires. I think there's a stage where you go, okay, I have enough here. I don't think so. That's the thing, because without a way to win, then you want to be overly cautious. You want to run your timer out until you have as many creatures as you can get. Oh, there we go, there's one. Multiple of those vampires. He needs a lot of these vampires, Mark, because he needs to get. There's the second one. Oh, there's the second one. Okay, good. So he just needs... One more vampire? Yeah, because he can steal the two one ones. I would steal the one one here, because he can sacrifice the one ones too. That's true as well. Actually, sacrificing the one one is the same as making... Which one he picks there? Yeah, that's a, that's the correct one. You pick the one drop always because it it's a free one mana. Okay. <laughs> I think everyone has seen enough of that. Okay. I think that's the last one. Yeah, well, let's go back to the waiting room. So let me just check. Second one here. Oh, I didn't see. I think it's two one, right? Yes. Okay. So I will just enter results. So GD one to zero. Johnny Mad Johnny that was two one or two zero, I forget. Okay, Zeket uh two zero versus power law. Let me do that first. So I know Johnny won. Let me. 
Okay, Aristeo 1 versus Jolto. And it's 2 0. Okay. Seca versus Claude. Seca versus Claude. Oh, there we go. HP Wizard. Johnny's 2 0 versus HP Wizard. Okay. Johnny's 2 0 versus HP Wizard. In the final match, Claude versus Seca. Seca versus Claude. Okay. Seca 1, 2 versus 2 to 1. Seca 1, 2 to 1. Right. Seca 1, 2 to 1. Alright. So we are now on the fourth and last round of Swiss. The format is Explorer Last Swiss round Format is Explorer Right, it is Explorer Yes um, Pairings Round four, pair, okay. And bearings are up. All right, so this is a cut to top eight. Uh, so like a bunch of people still have uh, a chance to win here or to get to the top eight. And then top eight is going to be a uh, single elimination. Higher seed chooses to play or draw. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to that last round. I'm going to start uh, moving people already. So I'm facing power law according to what I read. The power law. Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yeah. Thank you. Mark, quick quick question: Is top yes. eight going to be played today or tomorrow? Today, today. Well, we're finishing all of this today. Okay. Yeah.
All right, so I've, I've transferred them. Uh, they're setting up. And we will do another raffle. Who should we watch? This is Explorer. Uh, who haven't we watched yet? Let's watch Jolto. We didn't watch JD yet. Okay. Did we? Yeah. If we watched okay. Jolto, if Jolto was playing Goblins, we watched Jolto. Okay, let's watch GD. Oh, Mono Green. Cool. And I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we jumped in and this game might be already over. <laughs> well, it's best of three, so at least we'll, we'll be able to see Cyborg. Oh, what's this deck that Jolt's playing? Oh, this primal might is going to do terrible work here. God's work might one, let's say, but Jesus, this is going to be... Oh, oh that is oh. rough. That is so rough. Plus, plus that can't be blocked. This game is over? Yeah, this game is over now, isn't it? If he does this properly. So this is plus eight. Yeah, this game's yeah. over now. Yeah. That's 17 yeah. damage. Unblockable. So, Jolto is playing a combo deck, I think. Yeah, well, um, yes, he right? must be. I don't know what combo decks. I have no idea what the Explorer meta is. But, like, if you tell me Explorer, I go Grease Fan. <laughs> Let's play Grease Fan. Yeah. yeah. I would be also my deck of choice. There's having a conversation. <laughs> In other news, France are drawing with England. England scored a penalty, which is I can't see England win this. This day is so busy for me. I haven't I haven't eaten lunch yet. I'm going to go grab something before I yeah before what? I lose consciousness. I think this game could be quick, so um, unless Jolto has a really good start here, it's going to be hard for him. And this is not a great hand either, so slow. Okay, Jolto might be able to do something here. This is a really good start from Joto, so... Okay. It's a draw action spell. Okay, no action spell, it's bad. Okay, we're going to the next game. This is the Grinny Eight or the character that was played there. This thing was a combo deck. Uh, not keen on Explorer. I haven't played it a lot, so. Uh, yeah, it's the least. It's, a, it's Alchemy and Explorer the two least popular form. I think Explorer might be a bit less popular than Alchemy. Um, this hand is obviously much better, and also being on the play is really big here. I'm not sure what this Harpooner is meant to do, but I guess it just keeps the pressure on. Ooh, Final Shaman is interesting. So, Ogro Troll is obviously interesting to Ogro Troll there. Rather than the 5 4. Okay, 
Okay, this monument. So Jolt's still setting up here. Um, it looks like his hand is slow. It's obviously a bit slower than last game. Um, he needs to combo off this turn effectively now, which is going to be hard, but we'll see what he's able to do. Okay, he has the Burgie. That's good. Start. Oh. So... The Burgi is important here. But it depends. I need another land, so I think that's what... Okay. okay. I think you need another la I need another red source. Oh, he has another red source? No, Whoa, no, wow. No, no, no. wow. Wow, 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 wow. Who wins this, right? Yes, he wins now. No. Because he can just he can just replay his Ignis over and over again. Wow. That is the the discard part doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, mm. that's the end of that. Wow. That was amazing. Wow. That was I it like Jota was dead the next turn, so he had to combo that turn. Whoa. So that wasn't a thing, but wow. That was what a pile of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mark, Jolto jo jo wins 2-1. Yeah, you made me blurt out my food. <laughs> well, so let's, let's go okay. to Sir Hamilton. Hamilton is playing. Oh, Fires, this is a deck I love now. Oh, Fires versus Reese Fang. Oh! I do love Fires. I think Fires probably has a bad matchup here, though. It's a turn slower, so I agree. Yeah, I think Fires is just probably doesn't have enough interaction early. Mm -hmm. um, Bone Crusher Knight doesn't do too much here. Chariot is fine. It's not very powerful. Now, a land would be very important here. Oh, no. Wow. Okay, that gets difficult. I do like the the hollow fountain. It's really nice. That's from. Um, oh new yeah, or, from. Uh, do you have that? Did you? The new on or new on hinge set. Um, yeah. No, I, I don't have it. No, I haven't. Uh, I do look. I actually like. Um, I like the art, different arts uh, on Arena, but I don't have. Oh, oh this is really powerful. Nice, nice. Yeah, that's really powerful. Just bring yeah. back the chariot there. That is sick. It's really powerful. So. Wow. That's. A lot of cats. That's a lot of cats. Yeah, I don't know how the fire stack kind of deals with this. I don't think it can, personally. Oh, well, he, he even might attack just... with a grease fan. Maybe he has another yeah, one. Yeah, that's a bit greasy. Well, I don't think it, it really matters now. Is, because, it, is it over? Uh, it's not over. It, it's not over, but I think don't think it really matters because I think the cats will kill them next turn. So he yeah. needs to draw the land and a spe uh, on some, how magically he draws two spells. Oh, oh there my go. god. There we go. There draw. we go. Wow. Right. That is a draw. That's, that's something, right? I I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, he, he does seem to have another Grease Fang in his hand, though, given this play last turn. That's main deck, too. Yeah, okay, so he has another Grease Fang yeah. here. Yeah, that's why but he. Does, is there any, yeah, so there is another. Uh, there is a, a Chariot in his graveyard here, yeah, so that's fine. No issue that Cherish is a fourth four. Um, that was. Uh, the Grease Man deck is very powerful. I like it. It has a disruption. Oh, Ule Line and Cyborg is very good. And you bring in Knights as well, would you? Or do you think Knights are. I would say. I would cut the. I think the Bone Crusher is not good in that matchup. It doesn't kill anything. Mm. I think the it's better. The. Sorry. The Brazen Borrower is better against... Yeah, Borrower is good, yeah. It's better against the Grease Fang, so... Yeah, I think he's thinking the same thing as we are. 
Um, oh, he's not bringing the borrower at all. Interesting. The verges are bad here, I think. I mean... Mm. When you're behind, I think, I think the borrower is better as a tempo swing, especially when you're on the play. Um, it'd be interesting to see, does he bring in the borrowers on the draw? Um, he does have Layla of the Void, though, so... Yeah. Which is, and I will leave Mug, and if he doesn't have it in his first hand, that's going to be interesting to see as well. He can still fire it if it's not in his hand. But, yeah, I know. It's not so good. Ooh. Should this have been a mulligan? Oh, uh, no, 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 because, because of the binding. And the binding is good here, right? Uh, the binding is very good here. No. The binding is, with the breeding pool now, the binding is two mana. Ooh, Totsi is interesting. Doesn't Totsi is not very impactful here, so it's good. There's the binding. Um... Oh, I, I guess he doesn't need to worry about the thing on two. <laughs> Sand is not good. So I guess it's good. Well, <laughs> it's. France just scores brilliant. Yeah, that was that was obvious. Grisney salvage there. Yeah. Sorry, of it. He doesn't have targets for the Grease fan, so no need to play it this turn. Oh, nice. This Totsi isn't the game, like, does have another way of dealing. I would cycle this land here. Is he cycling the land? Yes, he would cycle this land first. Cycling this land is good. Uh, it, did he get any? What's in his. Uh, sorry, do we see no, another. There, there's there's no target in the graveyard. Okay. We saw that earlier. Oh, okay. here's what right. you were saying. Lay down the void. He drew yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, you can't, you can't cast it, Mark. No, I cannot. I cannot cast it. He doesn't have double yeah. black. Yeah, well, the only way you can cast it now is off fires. No. But here, it doesn't really matter too much because... Oh, now, this doesn't matter too much because he can still stop the Grease Fang. And he also missed... Um, yeah, it's interesting. He missed another quick... Well, we don't see that yet, but I think we have seen that at least. Okay, we missed again. Okay, that's good. Oh, he missed again? Oh. Yeah, but see, he also doesn't have white mana here, Mark. Unless... Oh, see, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That so is... he can't cast the... He can't cast fires the... Fires would be very... Fires would be very good here. No. Fires is really what... If Master we can get Hamilton fires... still has Ottawara. So... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, he does have a wave. That, that's not going to really do anything because it's double black. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> did not realize that now. I guess that's important to have. Uh... <laughs> okay, this, this, <laughs> this Leyline does actually... have a way to pass it. <laughs> this will actually come into play. Oh, now, this is interesting. That's a two for one. If he wants, well, no, no, not even. No, I just. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. And put Karuga. Karuga to hand, I guess. Karuga to hand. Karuga to hand is still good, good, because she's going to draw a card. But now. Uh, opponent knows that this one is uh, open, open for this turn anyway. Oh, mm -hmm. Liliana is not that good here. It is because he can he can make himself sacrifice if he has a target in hand. That's true. But he still has no white mana. All oh, right. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> that is true. So, oh, so the ley line here is necessary. Do you believe? Yeah. Because Kruger. if you play oh, no, no, Karuga, you draw a card. Karuga, Karuga does make sense because. Krug is only going to replace itself, and it's going to get killed by Liliana, so next turn. Yeah. So here, I guess he discards the the city. 
I don't think you should play the Lamba turn personally, but um, you can draw cards from Karuga. Doesn't he draw two cards from Karuga? And the penalty or three so cards, much. right? Because Karuga counts himself. Draw, no, it doesn't count. It's other cards. I don't oh, believe okay. It's ridiculous. Ooh, yeah. nice. So binding on the lily, I guess, right? Because and then Karuga. Yeah. Sorry, it's a penalty. It's not game ending, but it's. Oh, it's a penalty! Oh my god! Sorry, I'm just also watching the English match. The English got a second penalty. My god. Yeah. So it does each. Uh, yeah. So it so it does draws three. That's not bad. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, count yeah, itself. No, that's, it's that's, no, it doesn't count itself. It, it probably should count itself because it seems. Mm. That's interesting play. Yeah, it prevents them from from drawing an extra card, which is good, and it makes sure. Which that is good. It's interesting though because now Leyline of the Void is still there. Yeah. Now fires and I'm not now next turn is going to be probably cast the Omnath first and then cast fires yeah that's fine mm. or because you draw okay. a card of Omnath which you can still cast with oh you can't you can yeah. still can't cast it to fires though right no so if you play fires first um you play Omnath for free if you do that right yeah 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 no but if you cast Omnath first which you can and then see what the card the spell is that he draws um, then he can cast fires afterwards, which you can't play the spell anyway. But at least if it's something that mm. is actionable, like you not know, impacts the board, then he'll cast that over the fires. Oh, okay, yeah. So here's yeah, yeah I would have grease fanged here, right? Then you can crew the. Yeah. So now I don't really like playing fires here, but okay. Oh, the land gains life as well, actually. So that this life is actually quite big. This land is actually quite big. Mm. Oh, and that temporary lockdown is good as well. So... I think he made oh, a mistake. He paid for all that. Interest. Yeah, but he can't play spells in his turn with the... He could have cycled the, the Zayatora. That's true as well. He could have cycled City. And he didn't play the City as well, so... Um, or, sorry, he didn't play the land, so... Yeah. That's interesting as well. Yeah, this Grease Fang is... Does he have the the really good enchantment? Or the really good artifact? I don't think there are, there are targets in the yard. So he's just yes. going to crew. Okay. Hey. So Omnath really isn't that, that scary in this deck, right? Um, it, it, is it scary? Um... I don't. I, I'm not sure what the, the the question is exactly. Is it is that not scary? Yeah, it's all not uh, scary. It, I, I don't think so. You don't really get that many land triggers. You have Fable Passage in your deck, though. Oh, okay. So it does replace itself in here. Now he can kill the Lily. And he probably just wants to play the fires, just because if his opponent, just to get it, like it doesn't really matter playing it or not, but. It just protects it if there is another um, Assassin's Trophy, which those decks are playing. Oh, wow. This game is close. Okay. So that... That is kill okay, okay, okay. 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 This fable pass now. This fable pass doesn't do a whole lot, though, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. He even wants to like save it for later. Yeah. Four life. Yeah, against four life. Uh, how much is ten? So ten damage. Is... Ten damage here. So. Sir Hamilton needs to draw something here next turn. Yeah. Oh, he can't crew the thing, so it's actually... 
he can't crew he both can't... things unless yeah. unless he plays well uh, no no he's not going to do it like that Mark no <laughs> <laughs> the Skyship Sovereign here is not Skyship Sovereign is a weird card to have in your in your deck after sideboard isn't it because this these omelet decks don't, or these um, these fire decks don't have so many creatures so I wouldn't be really keeping in flagship against those decks Oh, oh nice. that's an interesting play. Okay. Plus, it drains. So, did, did you choose drain? He probably chose. Yeah, drain. he chose drain. Yeah, he chose drain. Yeah. Okay. So the drain is not like be all and end all here. It doesn't change the doesn't change the clock as it stands. Oh, this is good. Uh, it's okay. It's not really good. It um, prevents him from dying. That's all it does. Cause... No, because the, the ship... Oh, he's still dead. He's dead. He can crew, play the second Grease Fang, crew the other vehicle, swing yeah. with both. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. And, and he's out of line as well, so... Yeah. This, this game's over. Game is over. Uh, so HP Wizard takes this round... Uh, 2-0 versus Sir Hamilton. Yep. Let's but, go to uh, the table 4A, Seca. Let's watch Seca. Yep, perfect. Seca, will you deafen yourself? He, he's deafened. He's deafened. Or maybe he wasn't when I got here. But he's deafened now. Yeah, he's deafened. That's perfect. He wasn't when he first came in. I mute him. I mute him. He himself. Yeah, another okay. Grease Fang. So another Grease Fang. Um, mm. Grease Fang is looking like it's having a harder match here. Ooh, Two, that's not good, three, though. Three, four, five, six. Not lethal. It's not lethal, no. S so. Rattle Chains. Rattle Chains gives an extra power boost of two not enough one two three four five six seven eight oh it's one it's one less he's missing one point of damage right yes yeah, rattle chains will start. give Brand chains will pump. yeah i still think that he can also tap down creatures here as well so with the what's in his graveyard okay so he doesn't have anything in his graveyard that's good so he's not dead here i think I forgot what the cemetery thing does. Oh, it yeah, can play exactly. off the top, right? Is it only creatures or non-creatures? It's only at the minute. It's only uh, it's only equipment he can play off the top. Oh, he has to exile something. Okay. It has to be a creature he exiles. So. Oh, there's a play, right? So, you play rattle chains. You swing. Uh, you exile a creature, then flash in the the phantom. Oh. That that's right. a very good play, Mark. Yeah, I didn't right. see that. That was a very good play. Yeah, yeah I know how to play spirits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you still remember how to play magic. Yeah, that's great. So that is the that is the play. Yeah, I don't. I wonder when you see it. I didn't see that in that play. So, mm. oh, he didn't see he it. Didn't okay. See it. Okay. He probably will see it now after he does it. Yeah, he he yeah. realizes now. He realizes now. Or he hasn't realized yet. Now this is good still because he can tap down. Top down still. Let's see how this kind of pans out. So the grease fan can be tapped, and mm. if you tap the grease in. fan, you'll have you double block. Did you block the? Yeah. Okay. He's still alive. He's still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. But it's the, your play was game winning, Mark. Yeah. Which I didn't see. So I love how everyone has the the new lands. The, the Scottish fine is also. I don't. Very <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Mark, if there were 50 golds each, you'd be like, no, it's too expensive. <laughs> no, 50, I would take them. 50, maybe. Maybe. Begrudgingly, though. You'd be oh, like, wait, did you say each? No. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> each, yes, Mark. For each land. 50 so, for all, fine. 50 for all, yeah, you would be able to, <laughs> to justify it. But 50 each? No, 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 no. Too much. What is that? 500 gold for. 500 gold, yeah. Right? No. I think 500 gold would be the biggest bargain of all time, Mark. <laughs> and, um, you know. As card styles go, that would be the cheapest card style you could probably get in the store. Uh, of all, like any offer that they ever had before. Now, I would love this. Oh, this chariot now is interesting. Mm. Do you think this chariot is going to be cast after combat? I'd say so. If he had a way to discard it, then that would win him the game, I think. No, because the, the Lofty Denial would. Would so be if the... lost... No, if he lost the denials, he's out of. Does he still have enough blockers? He can tap creatures here, though. So that's what the okay. the main thing is. So he can tap. He can tap here. Yeah. And he can also play. Or he can't play. He can play this. Um, this one one in his. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So that will Does give that... a, a pump, so he can. Yeah. He does need to ta to block. So he has that three. Okay. okay. Now he now he'll yeah. get one. He does die to. Uh, mm. The Golgari spell. Yeah, which we saw last game as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, he doesn't. Well, he does. Yeah, sorry, he does because the the wonder can only is uh, two, can only do two extra votes, so. This is game three as well. We didn't. I didn't notice that. So, yeah, this is important. Both players are thinking their turns through. It's not just click done. Okay. Oh, like magic. Good game. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so that's the end of it now. Yeah. Good game. That was a good yeah. game. Second. That was tight. I think I, Mark, you were right. He did miss a play, but yeah, that was still. Yeah. Um, two, four, six, yeah, that's right, six, eight, eight, oh, had overkill effectively there. Mm. Did he do that in his upkeep or in his, yeah, he should have done his upkeep because he needed the characters on to stop his deck, so he would have drawn the counter spell as well. That's another thing, I think, I think those decks that are, those mono blue decks and those, like, decks like fairies, the margins are very tight, so you have to play very tight yes. with them, so I think that's the thing as well, that they're, I think you need to take every little, you know, advantage you have. And there, that was even though it was very small in the whole run of the game there, because we knew the game was over. You still, they're very important decisions to make. Yeah. Um, Let's move so, on to table five A. Five A, perfect. Okay. Oh wow! So it's just loading on my screen now. Well, okay. Uh, oh, this Draco's down a game effectively here. So this Angel, Coco and, Angels, I guess, right? I think, this, I think this game might be over. I think someone should be going to game three. Uh, I have no idea how you would turn this around. Hmm. Oh, but Power Law is up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll we'll go yeah, to like, game three. Right. The timer is a real thing, like you know. So I yeah. we can't see what <laughs> what time each player has, but I would be going quick swiftly to game three. Yes. <clears throat> And he also didn't days. play, yeah, he also should have played his, like, maybe he's just trying to wind down the clock here, but didn't even play his, his trespasser or his giants. Mm -hmm. So that's, oh, sorry, he can't, sorry, he can only play once by the turn. Oh, also, because of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's also once by the turn, yeah, sorry. Uh, I should read the cards. A bit Ir more. Irritating yeah. creature. Yeah, 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 it's really played good, all the way to vintage, right? Uh, he... Well, it's there. Well, it, at, it, least there legacy. Fish, at least there, legacy. There's a fit. There's a fish. It's played in. Um, it is played in legacy. I don't think it's played in vintage now. Yeah. I think yeah. it's too slow. Even if vintage is too slow, if vintage is much too slow because um, if you, if you're on the play, it's brilliant. If you're on the draw, it just has mm. less impact. So, um, so there's no. Yeah. I mean, basically, I'm thinking no, but there is a death and taxes in vintage, right? Was there or no? I, I miss no. Uh, traditionally, historically, there has been so there is. It was um, a blue-white um, a deck with like meddling mage and fast circle and stuff. Not fast circle, ta uh, 
Italia, but mm. that's a long time ago. And my actually friend was playing a vintage tournament, spent dredge, and he bet one of those uh, decks in the top eight to get to the the top eight. Um, but that deck has kind of fallen out of favor at the minute. Vintage, vintage still at the minute is there's three effective big decks in vintage now. It's um, shops is not as big as it was. There's a lot of bans over the years of shops mm. and the shops decks. A lot of the cards are restricted, like spirits yeah. of resistance and stuff. But um, the format now is blue base control decks. Um, Oko was a card in a lot of them as well. Um, but blue base control decks are quite blue base control. It, some of those are classes like Doomsday decks, effectively. Okay, um, yeah, I like is, Doomsday. Like, Doomsday is a good there's a deck. Um Pendle Agony is a deck, but it's not as probably as popular as it was. Fluster Storm really kinda of pushed those decks a push those decks a bit, but they're also playing Fluster Storm, so um it's but I think at the minute the main deck is um blue black red. I'm gonna check here because England look are a minute away from being knocked out of the World Cup as well. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Come on, France. Last time I played it was Paradoxical Engine. Yeah, Paradoxical, uh, Paradoxical, Paradoxical Engine. Outcome yeah, outcome. yeah Par- Paradoxical Engine was the card we were talking about earlier. I actually couldn't think of the name of it. That's the card that gains the life every time spells play. Paradoxical Engine, or Paradox Outcome was um, it is a deck. It's probably the second third best deck in the format. Mm. Um, There was only 11, well, 12, yeah, 12 people, no, 11, because JF uh, wasn't able to play. So we're really eliminating only three people for top eight here. And top eight's standard, isn't it? Standard, yeah. So the real value for top eight would be uh, the getting to choose whether you're on the player or on the draw. That's the... Which is always very important. Yeah, it is. It is. That is true. Okay, last kick of the game. Hmm, it's an interesting play, isn't it? Which is playing bishop. This is this is this is interesting. You just you, you obviously just want to go for fable. So oh yeah yeah yeah. I think it's fable. Here. Yeah. No, it is yeah. obviously fable, but it's just interesting. There is a choice there. Do you want to kill the bishop and just not let him get that life? Of course. Oh. You know, guess, yeah, because next turn he'll be able to gain life from the next spell he plays. So. And it's four life too. That's a, a, a chunk. It's four life, the... which is a chunk. Yeah, it's very important to these decks. But that four life, and that's not including life that potentially that creature could also come in with, or mm. if they play two creatures in this turn. So, this is a deck I'd never really played Angels that much. I actually built it and played it, but it just wasn't my type of magic. And um, Collective Company, obviously, in this deck is really, really powerful. Oh, that is very good. That is very good here. That really puts the puts a hold on the Rakdos deck. They really need to kill this. Um, but it's two spells per turn, so not really, right? Because they can, they they have instants. So, no, oh, but they, they shouldn't they have turn. tossed the. They shouldn't have tossed the mountain. I think because no, no, it's okay. You can kill this there. Oh yeah, you can kill it first. All right, so it's it's not that big a deal. Yeah, so now you might want to kill the bishop. Um, the bishop can't be killed now, though. How does he get killed? Mark? Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. If you attack with the yeah, goblin, sorry, with. sorry. Attack with the goblin. If, if this bishop lives, I think I would Totsies here because I think the Totsies is very important for the collective company. Um, I think if he collect the company's next turn, the Rakdos next turn will struggle. 
So I would personally, personally now, I would thought cease, but that's just me. So we'll see what happens here. Obviously, gonna bl oh, it did. It does go for the interesting now. I think that's. Mm, I'm not sure. I think. Oh, he can still talk these. Oh no, he can't talk these. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I used the mana for. He already used the mana. That's fine. Now collect the company. Obviously, it'd be instant speed if you pass the turn. Everyone knows what he has. So yeah, I think this is collect the company here. Oh, he does. That's. Oh, another one? Mm. Um, let's play here, Totsies. If he's collecting company in hand, which he didn't. Ooh, interesting. So, yeah, the angel. Mm, what do you take here, Mark? Mm, he doesn't have the life gain anymore, so. But you don't have a way to deal with the resplendent. It doesn't oh, have six mana yet. The Realm Walker is also going to... Yeah, I think... Yeah, yeah the Realm, Realm Walker is a fine choice. Yeah. Oh, and also it's tap, that's fine. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, he, he, he couldn't no play goal. the second spell yeah. because of the Arcon. Couldn't attack, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we... we... This Angel is going to do a lot of damage here over the next turn or so. I that's it's actually hard, wasn't it? Like maybe you were right, Mark. Maybe the angel was the bright pick there. It's hard to see because the realm walker, while it gets cards, you know, well, we can see. Oh, you can't play it because of the archon too. Well, uh, no, he could play it, as, but they could play one card. At, sorry, does, uh, what's that card say? No, no, no. You could still play it. No, no you, you can't play it there. because you can still play it, but. You won't be able to double spell because of the Archon. So it, there's. Oh, no, no, I understand that. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I understood that part. I hate. This is actually. This is fine, now. I think. Because now I can play that, copy it. Yeah. There's a. This Archon is nearly worse for David than it is for the Rackles deck, given the number of cards they have in hand. Yes, sort of, right? So <laughs> yeah, I, I, so here he's going to play the Angel, and he's going to get a counter on his Valkyrie. Okay, that's a counter from the Valkyrie. It's going to be going 2 4, which is big. Uh, and. The land also, is the one that deals 3 damage, right? The, the, the land four has damage. It's four, oh, four damage. Yeah, so, four damage. Yeah, so he can't. If he does. The pro thing is here to make a. Um, a guy at the end of turn. Oh, yeah, not yet. Oh, no, it is end of turn, isn't it? Yeah, is it end of turn? It is end of turn, yes. Okay, it is end of turn. Yeah. Oh, that's big. Oh, he can't double spell. Oh, he can't double. S no, he can't double spell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He can double spell and he can't double spell at the same time. What a, what a world. So... Mm, I think your copy swing with everything. Well, yeah, but the thing is, well, if he swung with the token, tree tree uh, token, if he blocks, which please don't block, um, he might be tempted to block. Yeah, he can't, mm, kill, he can't he, use that land because uh, okay. he doesn't yeah, have... He can't pay for the... Uh, ward. Ward. The ward, that's true, that's a good point, yeah. And I'll play for the ward, good point. Yeah, I would definitely copy here and swing with everything. Because... Yeah, he just needs to copy and, 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 and burn... Burn something. Yeah. No, there's... Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. That is interesting. I guess he just has to... Uh, I think this is hard now because the angel now comes down and the angel next turn is going to be what uh, 
body, six no, no, six light maker. He can kill it. Like, he can kill it. Like, if the angel blocks any of the 3-3s, three threes, he can kill it. No, because of the yeah, arc no. one, he can't. No, he can't. No, the, right. the attack for the goblin, he gets, he gets a... No, you you really. only have one no, no, spell no. per turn because of the arc one. Oh, yeah, he already played the crusher. That's hor yeah. That's bad. Yeah, he should have swing first. Unless this is lethal or forces him to double No, it's not lethal, no, Mark. It's not lethal. It's... it's... It's 6, 10, 12. Like, this is... This seems a really bad attack, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Because the 2-4 can sit in front of the tree tree. Is this a non-lank spell, or is it can cast... It's only once by the turn, yeah? This yeah, seems but... really poor. Yeah, yeah. This seems bad, because he's going to lose two creatures here now, easily. Now, David definitely should block... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's David correct. David definitely should have blocked there, that's poor. But then David should have blocked. He should block the tree tree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no 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 no, the only thing is this this bone crusher can be played. The 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 stomp part of this bone crusher can be played here now. Oh that's lucky. Oh this looks this is really lucky. But this but this bone crusher can kill the the stomp can kill the The Giada, right. Can kill the Giada. Look the Giada and then the cast next turn this not lethal. It is going to force a block, but they have a three five, so it's not going to. Yeah. Oh, they have the menace too, so they. Can... Yeah, the menace would be the best one to attack with for free. Yeah. But the problem now is next turn if if there's an well, David can get lucky again and draw an unlucky card. <laughs> that would be good. Well, last turn very poor. You just kept the creature in back. He would have had a four four angel as well. And he would have gained six life. Doesn't make any sense to play. Yeah, I just play the Bone Crusher here. Copy one of them. Swing with. Oh, he can't even do that. Yeah, this is. Um, he just needs this to do next turn. I would have played the land yeah. though. Because it's going to come into play tap next turn because of the. Yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah. Himeria. But maybe he draws. Maybe draws one of his. Um, his. Okay. Okay. This is the land in David's hand, obviously. No. Oh, it's not. Wow. Oh, this four life as well. This is big. No, not four life. Just. Uh, oh, sorry. It's just it's a plus one two two life. Is it? Yeah. No, it has to remember. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. I keep I keep missing the redeem. Yeah, you're, you're redeem, mixing your redeem angels. and redeem and the, the arches from a distance. It looks like the same card. It's an angel with their wings spread. Why not oh, crack? Why didn't they crack the Fabled Passage? Oh, I guess it's fine. It's fine. The Fabled Passage on taps with the, yeah. the Archon yeah. doesn't stop Fabled. Sorry, Ar it always gets basic land anyway, but Archon doesn't stop Fabled Passage. So here, yeah. does he have a good attack? He attacks with uh, four or five things. David needs not, to block. No, if he things. attacks with the, the, the land as well, yeah. David yeah. has to block. Yeah, David needs to block two things if he yeah. does that. Yeah, and he probably will not block the three three because it has menace. So he'll block two bone crushers. One of them is a free block. Power law needs to make quick decisions here. He doesn't have a rope. That's his last rope. I think. Decision is quite quick. Hopefully for him, he'll be able to get through this. Uh, yeah, like this is the ta this is right what he's doing, yeah. and he's it's actually mana efficient as well, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, swing and... everything. Get rid of something. Force the chump. No, not the chump because they're going to die anyway at end step. Uh, that's not enough. They need to lose one of those two creatures. Probably Redain is better to lose. 
because they can gain life off the Valkyrie. Uh, that will put them down to 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, 4, 8. No, they need to Why block not? 3. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise it was lethal. So they lose 2 also, creatures. Yeah. That seems to be a... Uh... This might be even, done. Yeah. yeah. No, the 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 turn where he blocks there with for no reason. Yeah. It was just the uh, it was there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could have just activated the angel and get life and free yeah. angel from And a free angel, yeah. It's true. I think it's done. Let's go back to the waiting room. Alright. Uh, entering results now. Johnny Magic versus Aristeo. Okay, so Johnny Magic won two to one. GD versus Jolto. I think Jolto won, right? Yeah, Jolto won. Two to one. Next, HP Wizard versus Sir Hamilton. HP Wizard versus Sir Hamilton. Uh, can someone give me that result? HP Wizard uh, versus Hamilton. Uh, HP Wizard is here, but he is muted and deafened, so he can't hear me. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Jolto. Wait, so while we're doing that... Uh, Seca versus Seca. So, Seca won. Uh, one, two. Oh, yes, Seca won, two, one against me. Mm -hmm. Seca won. Then David Draco versus Power Law. Power Law won. Two games to one game. Yes. Power Law won. So HP Wizard versus Sir Hamilton. Okay, here's HP Wizard. So after this, I'll announce top eight. Then we'll take a fifteen-minute break while I uh, fix up the Macharino brackets. So HP Wizard one two zero versus Sir Hamilton. So 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 quick question: top, top eight is all standard, right? All standard. Mm -hmm. uh, higher seed gets to choose player draw. Single elimination. Hmm. Okay. So HP Wizard 1, 2, 0 versus Sir Hamilton. Alright. So top eight is in. Uh, coming in first place will be uh, Johnny Magic. 
Second place is Aristeo with 9 points. The Johnny Magic uh, gets in at 12 points. Aristeo at 9 points. HP Wizard is at third with 9 points. Jolto at fourth with 9 points. Seca at fifth with 9 points. GD at sixth with 9 points. Zeket at seven with 6 points. And Claude at eight with 6 points. So uh, the pairings will be uh, 1 versus 8, 2 versus 7, 3 versus 6, 4 versus 5, and then 1, 2, 3, and 4 get to choose player draw. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's Johnny Magic, Aristeo, HP Wizard, and Jolto will get to choose play or draw in the first round of the playoffs. So I will just fix the Macharino... Uh, uh, I'll just fix the Macharino uh, playoffs. Then we'll reconvene in about. Let's make it just uh, at 5 p.m. It's currently 4 7. Uh, sorry, not 5 p.m. Sorry. It's 5 4 30. 4 30. Give me just 13 minutes to fix yeah, just, that. Just, just a quick question. So, just to make sure I understand correctly, yeah. I got to play HP, right? You have to play. You are 6. Yes, HP. Okay. Yes, HP.
This ale doesn't look great here, does it? Oh, this is crazy. I really like this Esper deck. I think it's really good. Yeah. It's pity Grixis was just... Yeah, look, this is a bad block for Jolto as well. Does he get the seven cards? What's the best card he could possibly get here? Wedding announcement's not very good. It'll have to do, but it's not good. Hmm, really? Seems poor. Okay, show shoulder will end this kind of game very quickly. Yeah. Oh, the, the drawing card is the same thing. I think he's just trying to. Yeah, okay. Going to game two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a... What's in the sideboard here? So, Jolto has a good few cards here. Now, see, I think we talked about this earlier, where um, sideboarding wasn't optimal. Let's see what Jolto does here. So, he's taking out Wonder Emperor. He's taking Angel. I think Angel is not great. Um, does he run the Geeks Command? Now that is going to be a question. Mm. He should bring in the. I would bring in. Would you bring in the artifact? The. No. The Bankbuster? Oh, the Bankbuster. I thought you meant Brother's End. Yeah, the Bankbuster is. is good, yeah. I would bring in Bankbuster. I'll see Joe doesn't feel the same, but that's fine. The Giada feels it, it, it's like it's it's in that strange spot where you want it turn two, and if it's not turn two, you'd rather not see it at all. Yeah, that is true actually. Well unless you draw on turn seven or eight for your second okay, great. I can do this. Um this hand. Oh, oh I would have kept the hand. I would have kept that too. That's not too yeah. good, right? You would have kept it, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this game's oh, over. Oh, that's not. Uh... Well, it's over. like also Mulligan, so. Yeah, I think it's over though. Like, so you get rid of Destroy Evil and you get rid of. I would get rid of Destroy Evil and Fable. Yeah, because the Fable's Cause so good. You can try to win here with a turn 2 Gyan. Oh, no, don't get a 4. Oh, Don't wow. get a 4. Oh wow! Well, this is this is sort of four. four. This is sort of good four. Yeah, but against seven cards. No, not six. Cards. Six. Well, well, seven cards now. Seven, seven cards now. Mark. Seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seven cards now. Uh, like this, this. Uh, I don't see this angel lasting too long. Yeah. If this good. angel dies, then yeah, that's. Oh, but okay. this seems... Alright. This is good, this is good. You play the Make Disappear, or do you not play the Make Disappear? You still play Make, make Disappear. But yeah, Jota was thinking, should I go in for two first to get some more value out of it, or...? I think he had to go in for two there. I think yeah. it's yeah. that Make Disappear, so... This is fine. Um... This is fine. Yes, they can kill that, so it's like, okay, with the, go for the throat. Okay. Go for the throat is such a nice addition to the format. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, let's yeah, we'll... print something that's... Uh... Oh, it's GD then? Um, um, Are you done? Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to zero. Okay. Um, yeah, maturing is not letting me put in the results. Okay, I, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll finish all the rounds first, then yeah, I'll... I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my deck change actually so, it, it ended up being productive. This is... Okay. So that make this weird does exist. It is there. Yeah. Um, we will see it this turn, I expect. 
Um, but the good thing for Jolto is that he's a really good follow up. Ooh, the make this here doesn't exist. Mm. Okay, it interesting. Bluff. It was a bluff. Was a bluff, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Jolto's no. way to win here would be to race. Okay. Oh, yeah, there is there is light in that. <laughs> There's a definitely. Just this, this Jolto. Oh, that's interesting. Now, oh wow. Yeah, that, that was the play. I think the over <clears throat> over harvester. Over harvester, yeah. Yeah. Or over angel. Or angel. So he can't. He can't play angel. He doesn't have. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's not the mana. Sorry. Apologies. I can hear myself there. In, yeah, okay, you're straight. You're straight. Oh wait, what? How can I hear myself? You should be. Wait. Can you say something? Could say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you should be able to maybe hear. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me hearing myself. You mean in the stream? Your your voice isn't. Yeah, broadcast. I could hear. I, I could hear myself. It's okay. Okay. This angel is. Here's the make disappear turn. Does he have make disappear? Does he not have oh, make disappear? That's that's that's. This uh, is this is. Oh, did uh, it, this day for sure? Wow. Okay, so it was the same the same stroke right make disappear. That's fine. Okay. I still think this from a multi four mark. Wow. Yes, definitely. If Jolto wins here, it's like ooh. Wow. I don't think Jolto like it'd be hard for Jolto to lose here personally, because no, he, the, uh, Seca draws two cards. We'll see what happens with this um, this turn. He draws two cards. cards. I want to pick. Yeah. Okay. But but he needs to kill two creatures. Yeah. He doesn't get blockers unless he plays a creature here. Draws two cards. Still needs to kill one. Yeah. It is a. Yeah, he, very, it, it seems like a very good position for Jolto. It's, it's very tight. tight. Yeah. We'll see. Oh. Farewell. Wow. Well, that was an interesting farewell, though. Because yeah, he had no choice. Yeah. Now I know he draws two cards with this farewell, which is good, but this here is good for Jolto as well. Yes. So he can play two creatures here, and now obviously Jolto runs out of scabs. This this gets. Uh, farewell as well, but this is very good for Jolto here. Now, Seca has two farewells in his deck, so he does have a second. Mm. So it, there could be a turn where he exiles all artifacts and uh, all artifacts and creatures here. Um, but this is very good for Jolto. I would be on my edge of my seat if I was Jolto here. Yeah. Because even um even a creature doesn't do much here. It has to be because of the this this fable has to be killed. Reflection of the geek geek. Yeah, fable. it's the fable and the other one. You need to kill okay, so now he has he still needs mm. to kill one. Okay, so okay. I think we're gonna see yeah. a chump. We're gonna see, well not chump, but true trades here. If he has nothing else. If he has something more, then he becomes very, Seca becomes very favored if he has one more thing. Because he's going to get a creature from the wedding invitation. I, wedding think, Seca has an, I think Seca has another um, counter spell. It's the way he's on it is. Mm, could be, yeah. Um, I, I just think so. I think it's... Oh! Yeah. That's... Wow. Okay, so here we go. We'll, we'll see a counter spell here. If there is one. But it's not really going to do anything. Okay, that's really good. Yeah. So... He should copy the one without summoning sickness. Yes. Yeah, that's a good play. Then that will kill the five... The big one. Yeah. Now he's free to attack. Attack here is still. Yeah, it's still it's still two trades. It's still not over. No. It's still not. Like over. 
removal of one of these a removal of the tower to next turn is still dangerous yes oops oops I don't like oops. when my opponent says oops also oops me in here yeah is it is it oops I made a mistake or is it oops I made a mistake oh already, oops yeah. it's oops I made a mistake I shouldn't have let that I shouldn't have yeah. let that now obviously <laughs> Joto here is behind, he has to really get lucky here, he needs to draw something really good. Yeah. And he, he, he's kind of limited on what he can draw as well, like this shoulder is... Oh, it was bad. The shoulder will take this game now. Uh, Joto needs to draw something right now. Hmm. Yeah, the I blood doesn't it. even... Well, no, he can kill the shouldered... He can kill the shouldered with the blood type harvester. Yeah, but that doesn't really help. The board yeah, here, like yeah. that life, that life there. You get into like a uh, sec against two life there, which was big. Okay, Ooh, okay so yeah, this is oh no 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 Let's see half. Okay, see a bit of fire. The problem here now is that the problem here is now he he has to jump. Jump block, yeah. yeah. That was poor. The only problem is he to jump anyway. Like I know in in fire life is yeah he, he needs to jump anyway. It's going to be a. Uh, I, I, I would life. draw. Yeah. I would draw before the. I would draw before the. I would draw with my planeswalker first because I could draw a move as well to kill the overseer. If, if you draw, if you do that, then you'll have to draw. You have to discard. But yeah, yeah. But yeah. The, you, I mean, you guys discard. Like the card. The, sorry, the the land is not very good on the. You could win the game that turn effectively. I'm trying to say. Yes. Yeah. Where I don't like it, my opponent's another uh, card normally. Uh, or try to win if I can at that turn. Wow, the Fable is no use to. No, oh, no, it is okay. It is. It's fine. It's, it blocks. But it blocks, but. I. I do not see how Jota's going to get around this. I think it's game, but we'll see. I said that already. Alright. Okay. Cut down would be very good here. Bolt on himself has ice though. Like Graphene is uh Choto Well no no, how much does it get the the, the life cost for um for the creature? Two mana creature? Ooh. Uh, two. Two life, okay. So... Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, do you, do you, need do you discard small. here, though? I think you probably have to discard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's no, it's not yet done. It's not yet done. No, oh, it's Hopper, you absolutely... Yeah, good. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. God. Well, it... it uh, can't read. I don't know what what's out here. I don't think there is no. Just game. You can just go one more time, but this game. Yeah. There is no card that he could possibly draw. So game. It's two things. Yeah, we did just good game. It's not too good. Yeah. Do it one more time for us. Do it one more time for us. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah. Keep drawing lands. Do it again, even if you haven't drawn. Some. <laughs> We're right go. back where we started. Keep going, yeah, keep going, keep going, yeah, 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 keep going. <laughs> keep, keep doing, keep doing, keep doing, Jolta. Because all the options. This is like, a, you can't draw extra cards in uh, Arena. Oh, no, we didn't see it. Okay, it was just a lot. Okay, he drew a last six house. But yeah, one of the four, I think he should have kept the, the... Was it the six card hand or the five card hand? I think the five card hand, then. yeah. Five yeah. Hand card hand was actually possible. Yeah. Let's go to yeah. Zacket. I think Zacket's still playing. Or it's close, Jota. I'm looking for a multi-form edge of those goals. I had gotten here 
Eh, Angel. Eh, Angel of yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Private Attacking, Ten Killing, but with a flyer and unblockable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you need strong each other. That was your actually yeah, next. Good. Hmm. Yeah. Where about the next track? Uh, I think we have, we didn't watch Aristeo yet, so let's go to 4A. No, we haven't rushed. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so this is the Grixis on Grixis action that we were bound to see. Grixis mirror. Okay, there's six. Was well, let me say there was six Grixis decks, so yeah, very chance. So um, Grixis mirrors. This is game, game one. Two. Game oh two. my god! I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Only one game has been played. Oh yeah. my god! No, this oh is the second god. game. One game has been yeah, played. No. They're in the thick yeah, of the right. second one. Only one game has been played as oh, I was saying. <laughs> Only one game. My god. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just true. Oh. Back in our back buster here. It's good. He's thinking oh, what, oh, if, no, 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 what if no. they drop the Yeah, yeah, yeah. The secret of the pill and what's the big the, shelly. What's the fable on there? It's oh yeah he had oh they're at five the, yeah they're at five and the opponents at three so yeah wow so I think yeah that's correct over the other one which is essentially would, just draw a card I would never think about doing that even before my opponent puts their shoulder to play mm -hmm. no I mean yeah Thank but you. but in this context where they're at five opponents at three I of think, course yeah. yeah. Lily. Lily is good. Lily. That's, yeah. Minus two, obviously, yes. It's fine. So, wrong. Oh, Lily. No, that is. Oh. Lily's good there. We'll see what this. Um, we'll see what they draw next turn. It's a very important draw here. Oh, that's not a good draw. And they have no mana land either, so that's fortunate. Okay. I don't think this uh, Kiki is that land. I don't think it's necessary, but I guess Kiki is long for this world. I think that land was necessary because of the the Lily. Uh, I don't think they need it, but I need more mana. Okay, uh, we need one more person to join the raffle. Dark sunlight, let me put that in dark. Well, it looks like everyone everyone brought Grixis to the party. Yes. Oh my god. Well, not everyone. There, there are about, uh, uh, Dougie said, six, six Grixis decks. I didn't see it myself. Well, there, there's only <laughs> eight of us. <laughs> like I said, not everyone. With a lot. It's the best, it's the best thing for us. Yes. Uh, I think for a competitive tournament. Uh, I like that some players had, um, uh, the Grixis players had that new card, um, the Blade Coil Serpent. So good. Mm. Like in these mirror matches. Oh, well, okay. I think this game now could be so minutes set. No, I think that two point life swing there is not going to be much. Right, would you end a turn kill the. I think you have to yeah, be mana efficient have, here. Yeah. There's you, have, like... you have to be mana efficient, there's no point. Um, does Aristio have. Um, oh, that was a good draw from Aristio, yeah. Does he have. Let's see. It's a cycle at this point. It's a. Because he's dead next turn if he doesn't draw anything on that. Yeah, and he oh, he's dead. doesn't draw a thing. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, we'll go he, to he, actually, he doesn't have um, he doesn't What's have that card we talked about earlier. That uh, what? the the new card that's six mana that draws a card, starts a card, and gets haste and does one plus zero. Uh, oh, he doesn't have this card in his deck, so that's why I was hoping that he would have. Um, Ziget does have one though, I believe. I'm just checking. Uh, Ziget 
doesn't have one either. Oh, very interesting. So now that we play the card, I think it's very important very much. Which card is that? Is it a draw card? This is, uh, this is a new card that came out in Brothers War and uh, HP Wizard were playing one. It's called Blade Cold Serpent. Oh, Blade Cold Serpent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so Blade Cold Serpent, six mana, uh, X and six, so you can play for more than six if you want. It's when it enters the battlefield, double blue is paid, it draws a card. If it enters the battlefield, then double black is paid. Each one is a for each old black. So if you, for example, cast for six black, it scars three cards. And um, the last one is it gets plus one plus zero and gains travel and haste on that turn. So yeah. this is a real good way of closing out the games while also placing itself. This hand is good. Yes. His, he's able to... He is one off invoking. Uh, he has to rest the other thing early. I think so he yeah, might have uh, molds, did he? Seems like he molds. Yeah, he did mold. So, and he's also on the play here. Would you dress turn one, Mark? Uh, yeah. You really? Yeah. Mm. I don't think I would personally, but yeah. I guess it's not stress. Like, he needs to take dress now. <laughs> so much, yeah, fake dress. So much. Like, if he didn't dress there and his opponent dressed him, he'd actually be better off. That's why I don't like playing dressing one, usually in these slow matches. Cause, no, it's, like, it's on the play. So if his opponent dressed him, okay, now at least. Uh, no, I think it's fine. Because knowing the invoke there, now that you've drawn the gate, right, will give you more leeway on. on yeah, good what point. Give that kind of information. I would have done it be more of a fan too, but let's see what. Okay, this is literally oh. going to be. Let's look at each other for the. Oh like, really? Oh, oh that's wow! Interesting. Wow! That interesting. Brave. Oh, will that pull through? Will that pull through? Oh my it's... goodness! Oh. Well, it doesn't really matter, Mark. He has a second one, so literally, it's just going to be like. True, true, true. So it's going to be he's going to play the it, then he's going to yeah, okay. It's yeah, yeah. Like each one draws three cards. Turns out is still uh, okay. The cringe. The second one. He doesn't have spell pierce in his deck, does he? Um... But he's worse off because the opponent gets to untap first. Yeah, that is true, Mark. Yeah, it's a rush. Yeah, oh my God, the cringe of all these invokes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, standard sprints. Invoke this spear was my favorite yeah, card in standard. There's a card until until everyone, everyone started, started using playing it. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need two. Oh, yeah, I can change all the vehicles and then. Corpse Appraiser, what's up? Is it right? No, there's a target card. Oh, wow. I don't but think he, he realized there was a there was a No, target. He, he must have thought there was a target, there wasn't a target. Like, that's that's very, very, very you, big. You, you check you check before you play, like you need to hard. like get every little advantage of your cards in these matches. Yeah. He should have played Fable instead. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. 100% fine, you know what that happens. I think you have to let that happen because you don't want to walk. Don't do that. You're going to walk into it. If he walks into another folk here, he's going to feel really bad about himself. Mm. Yeah. And... Oh, and there it is. Oh, yes. as, as we saw, like, the man was open as well. Like, yeah, it was just yeah. a page. There was very little advantage to... Um, there was very little advantage to saving your creature there. Maybe the mad advantage of trying to keep that creature off the board, but apart from that, that was this game's gonna be very hard now. Mm. This is all. It's, it's almost two cards, it's almost over. Slightly better board position, but doesn't really matter. Yeah, but it has what four cards in hand. It must right have now, make yeah. disappear. So and make disappear. Yeah, it's it's not. We're not gonna do anything it's not here. Now, yeah, yeah. Here now, you just see how bad uh, make disappear is. And his opponent also knows he's Nick's Despair now. But the Nick's Despair can be discarded too. 
the blood token if needed. Yeah, HP, HP, yeah, he has this blood token. This um, blood tail is going to have to target this protection of Kiki. Yeah. HP had to pitch his make disappears against me because I, I was playing around them. Ooh, no attack. attack. Interesting. That, that is a good draw, though. So now you can switch the make disappears. Yeah, this make disappear is gone. Yeah. Which is thank you. Make the make disappear disappear. <laughs> oh, we already land as well. Interesting. Oh, Ouch. That's an unfortunate. This Kiki has to get kills. Yeah, we know that. That's fine. I think as well this land was a necessary play because yeah, you're going to play Fable here. In the middle yeah, of I think you might look at this and regret playing that land because that Kiki, that land would have been scared of that Kiki, uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Um, there was no need to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 lands in play. Um, Why do they not cycle it? No reason. Think that, no, we can't. Oh, it's, it's okay. I mean. No, it's okay. Okay. He, had, he, had he had to cycle it, and then when he grabbed the springs, he dropped it with the block. Is the mirror breaker going to make it? Yeah. It will. Probably it will. There's, there's, there's a bit of a, a, an upside to not cycling it. Is if he had drawn some bigger spell, he could play it. Like, well, what, what bigger spell does it invoke does this, does this deck run? Shouldered or invoke, I guess. Mm. Yeah, he, he would still be able to play it. Shouldered will be quite good, uh, given he's on tree life. <laughs> As well, I, tree life here is... Yeah. So we are. Like, and that tree life is simply because of that. It does invoke it, well. does invoke it six damage each, so 12 damage does invoke it. Yeah, I, I think this game would have gone differently had he not gone for that invoke there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think as well, the players want to play the cards so that they have their hands in front of them. And some, I think it depends. You have to get patience over the years sometimes to, um, you know, when to play those cards. And now this game is. Nah, you have to like borrow for them just to get the blocker. Yeah, that's what they did. Although yeah, he doesn't know should... what the card is in hand. Dude. If your brother's end, then you lose two creatures. He loses one. Yeah, but the problem here is now as well that if you get that, have that get that land in hands, or yeah, okay, it's okay. good, it's okay. good. Still have a game here. Corpse appraiser would want to be. Ooh, another corpse appraiser. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, very can good. Can you cast that without dying? You can. You can. You can play. Yeah. Really? Oh, he should. He should. One, two, three. He can use the treasure, so he won't. He still is. Oh, he oh come on, man. He takes the two. I mean, the one. He takes the one. But he's still dead to. Um, he's still dead to. Uh, the Volk anyway, so. Yeah. I don't think two or three is. Yeah, it can't Same. pay for, for make disappear anyway. With oh, sorry. He, he, he dies, dies actually if his opponent doesn't revoke, actually, because he can only really sacrifice a creature and a shaman, so you can't sacrifice a planeswalker. So he is open now to. Uh, to invoke. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. dying to evoke, yeah. There's no point. It's very, it's very subtle, but it is a good point. Yeah, it's those little subtleties that really make oh. awesome yeah. magic games. Yeah, yeah, we, we talked talk about, about that, that earlier with, with the mono blue deck as well. This, this little the margins are pretty important. Um, blue attack. But now he's a little ahead on the board. A yeah, he's ahead on the board, but the problem here is this brother's war as well. Makes that little ahead 
Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the life. So... So here, it's very clear now that you could... Yeah, now he's dead. He's he just cruel, yeah. cruel mm. brothers and clear the board, swing. That's... Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we're going to see. Yeah. Well, to the brave at them from a risk, you know. That was a good, that was a good play. Like, I, I, I think, as you get a play that would be well, I, did, I think there were some subtle things there with this deck, but... Yeah, I think that's uh, all of it, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's there was some subtle things there. Johnny Wong, Johnny Wong, I think it was good. It was good. Okay, I'll put in the results if they haven't been put in yet so Jonas uh, Johnny Magic one right yes Johnny Magic uh. okay it's why is it loading they marked so so now I, I like I am the upper seat now so I decide if I start. You are up or... again. Are you up again? Yes. Uh, did so who won? Or wait, or, I can't. I don't know. You, you just, just just let me know so I can know what to do here. Yeah, it's not letting me enter the bracket at this moment. Second number eight six. Zero, zero, three. Okay, it let me enter the bracket. Aristeo versus Zeket. Zeket uh, one. Uh, Zeket one. Uh, okay, okay, Zeket one. Right, so Zeket was. Yeah, Zeket was below you. Yeah, so so we're going into the uh, semifinals. We're going to the semifinals. The brackets are up. Jonas versus Seka. Jonas gets to choose player draw. Draw G GD versus Zeket. GD gets to choose player draw. I didn't realize that I had muted you for the last one, so uh, I couldn't hear you speak on the channel. So I was speaking over you all the time. I didn't realize that. It's you were... fine. It's fine. I I couldn't, I couldn't even hear you. I couldn't, I, I, I had muted you earlier, and I didn't realize, so that's why. Okay, I didn't realize. No worries. And second, uh, I'm gonna, I'm sending in the invite, since I have higher seat now, I'll, I'll go be on the party. Okay, okay so you are the one that chooses who plays, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be, be on the party. So. Okay. Okay, perfect. <sighs> Okay, so obviously you want to watch Johnny this time. Top table. <laughs> but first I'm gonna draw the raffle. So we have, let me make sure we have enough. Yeah, we have enough people. All right, so we're doing this manually. We have five people. I am using Excel to generate random numbers. Da, da, da. And the winner is Demonic Succubus. Demonic Succubus is the winner. I, I will post that. that in chat because this is delayed, so you won't hear it. It will be in chat first. Uh, <laughs> Demonic Succubus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I don't know if we're again. allowed to say that on stream. We're probably allowed to say that. <laughs> I don't think that it went making care to the people who are watching this were were English. I didn't realize JD was um, speaking because I had them accidentally muted. So I've ruined the. He was speaking as I was speaking as well. I didn't realize I could hear. I could only hear myself, not him. Okay. So let's go to table one A. Johnny's not yet streaming. 
Who is it's meant to be streaming, streaming or Johnny's, Johnny's meant to be streaming? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let me message him. Because he's deaf and so he can't hear us. Maybe we just go to 1B then. Yeah. Yeah, let's just so go to 1B. Yeah, yeah. To, to, to watch Zach again? Uh, yes. Yeah. I mean. That's fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh, but we watched this earlier on the other end, right? Yes, we watched Shoto, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and for those who won the raffle, I know the first one who won the raffle is Monk. And we have him in the team. I think Demonic Sakib is also in the team. I'm not sure, but yeah, I will I will DM you the codes after the event. Just I just have too many things to do at the moment. But yeah, then you will get the codes. This is really interesting. Yeah, Rafine is real. having a, a, a Rafine that's live is... What, what, what do you do here? There's two, there's two plays, obviously. Well, there's technically three plays. Really. You just swing. You, you, but you don't bring back your own dog. Well, well thanks, I need to play right now, so you can't bring back some dog, yeah. dog or... Even oh. if... Even if... Uh... Yeah, yeah no, no, you're right, Mark. You're, you're right, he just swings for one. He... Yeah. Wait to see what he draws. If he draws the land, he discards that land, which... Yeah, yeah no, he discards the land here. He, can't, he still can't underdog if he discards the Koi loss. No, no, no he, he discards the, the beach. Yeah. Um, and then the Wandering Emperor is... If they have a counter yeah, spell... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I would no. I would wandering emperor and minus two. I think yeah. I I, I that's that. I think that's the correct play. Okay. Good. I really hate uh, that think, that goblin he, making yeah making trade. I think I think he's, he's opening himself, himself up to invoke here though. That's true. That's true. But invoke here is quite swingy. Invoke here. Or there's yeah. Invoke. There's invoke as I said. I think that was kind of my kind of top there. I think he. Yeah, this is... Well, there's... He's gonna look again here, and he just plays... Mm. What do you do here, I, I think a wedding, wedding announcement yeah, will make this appear up. And then, depending on what he plays next turn... Because that tutu yeah. isn't going to do much as a tutu. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's correct. Oh, interesting. He will need to sacrifice the one, but that's what it's for. Because if he doesn't do that, then he needs to use destroy evil to kill the the uh, reflection. Otherwise, the reflection gets to do that twice. I mean, yeah, that, that gets yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, he has to either just use the curse. And this turn, he needs to probably destroy evil though. And um, well, I'll see the next. It's the tough, turns. yeah. It's a tough. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you did this for Phoenix Tower? I think so. Uh, yeah, I think so. You need, you need to get some pay to slack as well. I think, yeah, I will hear and then just hope for the so, best. Yeah, this is another kind of hope for the best turn because if it kills Zayo, which he could if he draws the vampire. Hmm. Um, the bumper would be a treasure or a token itself, a blood token itself, another blood token, so it'd be four blood tokens, or two yeah. blood tokens, but two. So, okay, okay. Razor's good. Oh, that's, it also gets the, it also gets rid of 
the dog. He gets to copy it, and then he gets to crew the... Okay, he doesn't... Yeah, he gets to crew. He can offer the trade of the... Wow, what card did he pick if he did... Ooh. What card did he pick if he didn't take the 5 drop? The Greeks, yeah, wow. right. The Greeks is coming. Oh. The Greeks is coming, oh, yeah. What card did he pick? Invoke, I guess. Invoke, Invoke maybe, is probably the best card there, yeah. Wow. This is... This is tough now. Maybe the play was just straight at evil that Kiki has kind of got out of hand now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really got out of hand now. That's really bad. So... Does it come into play that or not? No. Not that. Okay. Shouldred then. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh shoulder is good. Shouldred. What's life totals there? Ten. Okay. Shouldred really puts the, you know, puts the brakes on. Yeah. His opponent and. Yeah, shoulder. Nothing else there. does that. The wanderer won't do that for this turn. He'll, he'll just slam it. So now I can't even attack here. Block. It's a free block, yeah. yeah. Shoulders is gonna be cool. If he um, swings with two, he'll draw a card. Yeah, I'd be very tempted to do that as well. I think you do that. I think you do that here. I think that two life is very big and he can destroy evil the the yeah, only problem is that he really falls again into the invoke trap where invoke would cause him to lose his wedding expert and his shoulder where okay. at the minute it doesn't that's his consideration too, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah 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 I think he listens the second time uh, the shoulder might not be long for this world oh Ooh, double the braid interesting yeah, worth it worth it worse now this is the problem here, is Kiki shouldn't still be alive. Yeah. He should have he should have played Destroy Evil. Yeah, now he's looking at Destroy Evil Sand. Yeah, it's And it's draw card, is it? Sorry, this Yeah, this Kiki is Unfortunately, well, this doesn't affect the shoulders, so the shoulders you don't deal with this life. Wait, so why did he... Why did he wait for the strike? Oh, oh, that's the second of break. Okay. okay. I didn't see that that was the second of break. <laughs> you said there's two of the little breaks, and then... Yeah, yeah. So I, I looked uh, somewhere else, and then when I looked back, I thought that that was the, still the same upgrade. I missed that Children already has two damage. It's three damage. Here. Three damage. No, he wants to draw with the crew. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So this is a free attack. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's a good draw. Second AO. That's a good draw. Yeah, no counter spells too, so. No counter spells, yeah. yeah. Free AO. Slam and. Pass. Yeah. Now, going against his face now, I'm going to five cards here. A six, now. Well, Chosen's still at it. He might actually make it. I'm not sure, but like he's been there for a while. And his deck has Sahili. I... Oh... Oh... Big. Interesting though, is it huge? No, no, it's not. It's not it huge. Depends. Like, yeah, yeah, it depends. Here, on how... oh, it's huge because he has a counter spell. He... He does oh, he doesn't have a counter spell. spell. Wow, wow, that is huge then. So, this. It's Would not you block it? it? He'll, he'll, he'll... No, because this allows him to swing. And there's no good block. There's there's only double block, 
The old no, block. I, I, I have 100% double block. Double block here. Yeah, back. double block, yeah. 100% double block. Yeah. Like... The course appraiser gets out of hand, doesn't it? Like when... When there's a, num a number of... Uh, oh, that's good that's draw, you play both. Now, will auto tapper mess him up? Oh, auto tapper... Pass and mess him up. No, that's okay. Oh, it's a three for lightning as well, wow. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. that's big. Now, the only thing is that his opponent does have still five cards in hand. Yes. Um, if you had to. If you sacrifice a creature here, which one would you sacrifice, Mark? Uh. Dale. Get something mm. back. Yeah. yeah. Or. I, I, I'm struggling to see why John is looking at his graveyard so intensely. No, because then it prevents him from doing anything. Oh no! that That's a no, fun! That doesn't oh. work. That, oh, Wait, it what? does work. Wow. wow. Why does it work? Uh, oh, what it's not it? targeted. Oh, okay. But it's now, this, this corpse... Um, this corpse appraiser... Yeah, that Corsa Bracer targets. So that's yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> so Johnny knows the rules. Johnny is a judge, by the way, so he should know yes. the rules more than we do. Though, oh, very right, good. Yeah, that was a good play by Johnny. Stevenson was nice. So he's probably going to just attack. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh. A, that's a huge draw there. That is huge. This is Ayo huge. He still has Vigilance, so like playing the... Oh. Do you play the Wandering Emperor now? Think, yeah, I would. I would. Because I don't have enough mana to pay for for the counter yeah. And if it's Disdainful Stroke, since... Oh, this is just game one, so there's no Disdainful Stroke. This is just game one, yeah. Okay, that is big. Yeah, does Johnny have... Does Johnny have dogs in his deck? Does he have... Uh, let me just check his deck for a second. He must have some dogs. Is that four, is he? Johnny has... No dogs in his deck. And only one shelter. Wow. That is interesting. And... He is. Tr mm. He is three invoked to spares as well. That's interesting. So he's cast a lot of invoked to spares. Which Johnny looks like he's in trouble here. This game is being very sweet. Mm. Yeah, I think he was ahead. Several. Yeah, he was ahead. He was ahead, ahead at one stage. Yeah. Um. I, I unmuted and um, hey Mark, um, yes. Zeket one two zero. Zeket one two zero. Yeah. Okay. Four. There's the go. Wow, yes. that All is three things. Interesting Sorry. though. Is this 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 still? Rafine is okay. not great. It's, it's fine, fine, it stops the board, like, it stops the board. You can't attack, here. but that's fine. Yeah. yeah. There's a game that easy to kill as well. He's it's four mana open, go for the troll, if he lives, you can play for mm -hmm. pass down or whatever else. Oh. Brace. No, I think it's just a, an attack. Oh. Now, this is interesting. Uh, oh! Oh my oh, god. Uh. No, 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 it's okay though. It's okay. Because he can block here. He can play this. Wait. He could have won. Ah, uh, Mark. Oh, Scarlet did the. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. Scarlet did the. <laughs> uh. Oh god. Oh my god. Johnny, Johnny, I'd say now, is... Oh, but okay, Johnny. Johnny doesn't have it. Oh, Johnny still has it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. 
Wow, wow I, 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 I almost did the same thing in my head. I, I forgot that the Rafine gets. Wow. I used to laugh at com people who commentate and just didn't understand. Yeah, that was crazy. I got very lucky there. Yes. Yeah, that's where the just goes to show you, you can. In a game of magic, you can do everything right, everything right, and your co opponent can do some things wrong, and you still win. Yeah, yes, that's that's not uh, like that's that's possible. Yeah, that happens. That by variance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, I think, I think they're, they're like, like and Johnny, Johnny had a lot of cards in hand as well. Like it wasn't. It was interesting. Now. I really do like Johnny's deck. He does have the Blade Coil Serpent as we talked about earlier. I think that's really good in this match. Mm. Um, he's running... He has a set of four to both in the sideboard. Being on the player is very important. He has a Siren in the sideboard. Um, he has a Disabled Stroke. He's a very diverse sideboard. He's lots of one-offs there. Like one Negate, one Disabled Stroke. Uh, one Brother's End, one Cut Down. I like those kind of, you know, that versatility. You see a lot of cards with these decks between the Corpse Appraisers and the Fable of the Mirror Breakers. So, um, you. And he also has four Reckoning Band Busters after sideboards. So, this hand is keepable. Mm. Yeah. It's keepable. Now it's good. Now it's good. Yeah. So. Ooh, that's interesting. He plays the dog rather than playing the wedding next one on a tree. No, I, I would do the same. It's like. Uh, wedding now is fine, even if you play it a bit late. Now there's a choke on three drops though, but I'd still mm -hmm. play announcement later. Mm, destroy evil on the. Destroy evil seems very early. Yeah, because if the, he drops shoulder, well, if he drops shoulder, you still have emperor, but then that's going to be a turn late. Uh. But then you're going to kill that anyway. If it becomes a Kiki Jiki, you still want it dead. So it's yeah, 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 you might as well not get the card straw or card filtration, filtration out of it, so. I'll swing. Because I'm not going to yeah. block. I'm not going to block next turn. And I guess he's blocking. Problem mm. with that is that it makes your Rafine much weaker. But I guess, like, maybe he has. Maybe Johnny's, Johnny's has a... Johnny's bulk here is going to be quite good. Hmm. We'll see if he has it. No, he doesn't have it, but this is really good now. So, that, as usual, Johnny just plays well when... He gave him the option to block and... Oh, Johnny was locked on Coloured Man as well, actually. So, Johnny actually needs it. Johnny needs to have a land here. Interesting. <laughs> now he does, so... Now we're choked on three. Rafine is obviously the play. Um, Invoke would be brutal here. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Good. Keep his mouth open to draw cards, which. Fine poster. Ooh, he's just getting on the board. Oh, getting in for seven this turn. Ooh, very good, yeah. Okay, it doesn't help that the opponent is uh Okay, that is that's that's what that's the best card he could have drawn. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking here if he wanders now or later. Uh I think you take the you take the risk here because let's say you wander and now kill one of these you're still facing a bunch of them <laughs> right so might as well try to make it so that your wanderer is actually going to live the next turn yeah 
Do you think the... I'm going to draw a card here. Interesting first. That's telling. Like I, I, says. I, I, I like telling so down there as well, actually. Other players would just... Just attack with the... Oh, the bank Yeah, there's, yeah. there's no reason. There's no reason. But then, for a while open, it doesn't send a signal. Just there is one remember on the horizon. We'll see here what happens. Here we go. Does this get counters? Johnny does have between cards as well. This, okay. No, okay, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Did you kill the corpse of the brain or did you kill the military harvester? Building harvester seems to have a bit more value. Okay, so now there's a bit of breathing room. We still can't play wedding announcement and hold mana up for make disappear so I guess we're going to see just tenacious plus on tenacious play along. Yeah. Keep up the make disappear. Yeah. I do love how in these ranks the all tower doesn't seem to be messing over people. Is that very interesting? Where we saw earlier in the tournament that the the all tower was tapping the mana wrong. Um is it a plus or is it a minus now? Yeah, so I was thinking the same actually, minus. Okay. Oh, so it's going to die regardless. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, they said that the auto tap, so the way they programmed the auto tapper for pain lands, that it will avoid pain. Which is sometimes okay. wrong. <laughs> yeah. It's true, when, when you only have, have uh, no other colored sources. I think that was what the other match we saw, where the red source was tapped. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, okay. That's oh, very that was very good. good play. The so make disappear, disappear has to be... Yeah, he has to make disappear. Uh, interesting that he didn't attack with the goblin first, though, isn't it? If he attacked with the goblin first, yeah, if if, if Seka had blocked, then he wouldn't be able to make disappear this way. But then... Yeah. Maybe Johnny, Johnny just wants to. Maybe Johnny just wants to develop his board here now. Like he has a free turn here where he can. He has four mana. Yes. Um. I don't know why he has that, but I'm going to check. Um. Johnny has something. Is it is. Yeah, Johnny wasn't streaming. Yeah, so... Is Johnny's last card? Double wedding and his first seems pretty really good. Yes. So Johnny's still at 18, so we're not going to... Oh, oh eight. That was the last card. Mm hmm. That's still good here. He's gets to draw here. Yeah. If he needs to really badly, he can search the... He can use a little burn a little token. This wedding announcement isn't doing a whole lot. Um, this is partially going to need to block. It's so like what, maybe seven, yeah, I guess not really. And the bulk here now, Johnny, will be very good. Base curves of land, very good. Ooh, but I'll tell you, I'm just... So he's really turned to screw here. Um... Hmm. 
So we can swing for six and force a, well not force a chump but yeah, I think he was going to chump anyway. Yeah, he will have to jump this back what's true. Yeah. What can he draw here? Definitely not that. Okay. Uh, but, uh, he can draw the concession button. <laughs> Alright, we're going to game 3. Exciting yeah, it's semi final. Interesting. It's interesting, interesting that here. Did you know, ooh, farewell in. Mm, that was interesting, actually. The, the, the game's in the same strokes in the sideboard. On the it's on the play. Yeah, I think the game's on the. Oh, it couldn't go for sure. That's interesting. Yeah, I wouldn't want Farewell on the play, I think. How good is, how good is Shouldred in these? I think it, Shouldred is good. Shouldred is like a Siege Rhino in this matchup. It's like, uh, it's not a the side, side advantage. So I think Insight does seem wrong to be sitting in his sideboard. Yeah, I think, I think he should have put in Siphon inside. Yeah, it seems wrong. It seems to be this is the, the match for it. Yes. And it seems wrong not to be playing it. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, definitely quite, the match for Siphon Inside. Yeah, I, think, I know it's quite dirty, but like it's slow, but it does... When does this first when does this first team, um, language come in on Rina? A correction language? It's been there for a while, but I don't know if it means anything now. Previously, previously it didn't mean a thing. And we talked about this before when we were trying to make the playmats. And I used a so-called a supposedly Phyrexian translator. It turns out it wasn't actually a Phyrexian translator. Uh, it wasn't wizard. It wasn't from wizards, and it was just it was just putting together random Phyrexian characters. Uh, uh, Mark, I don't, I don't think, think there's an official Phyrexian uh, translator. They, they I should. They should. Is this a thing? They should make <laughs> one. Wizards should yeah. make. This is a good hand. Oh. oh. <laughs> This, this is a very good hand when you're on the play. Yeah, he is on the play. Yeah, yeah no, this, this is a very good hand when you're on the play. Yeah. That's the, the, the he's on the play, I understand that, but this is a very good hand. Like, here you can play Gaze turn 2, plays 2 drop, is yeah. Rafine, it's going to be also 2 or something in your name. So. Let's we'll see what Johnny does in turn 2 now. Yeah, this is critical. This is big. Ooh, oh, big. Okay, okay. Do anything which is the the warning signs are going off in my head in this ravine now. Eh? Which would you rather lose, the kite or the ravine? Uh, I would rather lose the ravine to be honest. Then, then he should have played ravine. If 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 if, if he also values the ravine worse than the kaito. And I agree. Well, let me rethink that. I think the Kaito, I think the Kaito on the play on turn three is quite punishing, and it will like here in Irish. Hmm. And then the Rafine is just as good on turn three as it is in turn four, I guess. Yeah, I think so too. I think now here's the yeah. Okay, the Kaito is going to come down, and it will be countered. I suspect. If it doesn't get countered, Johnny's in trouble. Oh Johnny's no! Big <laughs> Johnny's big trouble now. This is, a, this is the thing. I think the Rafi, the Kaito has a bigger upside. Mm. And now, interesting. So that is interesting. I think Johnny would have, if he played the Rafi, he would have killed the creature before attacks. Yeah. yeah. Um, here now, Fable is quite good. Yeah. Okay, Fable is quite good for Johnny. That makes sense. Um. Now, this play is also hard because. Okay. Good. I would have gotten rid of the land, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Was the situation was if there was 10 hands in your hand, it'd be a scary <laughs> land. Like, Alright, why'd you scare your land? So greedy. Uh, this is obviously going for the troll. 
tier as well, no? Yeah, I would go for the third tier. No, I would, but well, yeah. maybe four tax, but... If you're going to play like that, you definitely go for the throw now. This so, is interesting. So again, that's Shoot. why I would have tossed the land. Because, like, then you let still have two Wandering Emperors and the Rafine. Yeah. All of which you can play, right? So. Yeah, of course, yeah. This go this go for control is might as well be cast now as next turn. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, he's now trying to wait for something bigger, so he won't he won't kill this go for this this creature here. No, he, no, he will. Mm. The reason why was because he gets blown out by the by the invoke. So if if Johnny got by mana in that turn, oh, oh Johnny slapped off as well. Oh, he missed Johnny his misses land drop. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's huge. huge. That, that is huge. huge. Yeah. So, what, what is the play? Scarlet Fiend. Okay. Yeah. Interesting play for Fiend here, isn't it? Yeah, I, I would go for one day, Emperor. Yeah, me too. Goes. Is is Kaito at seven? Kaito's at seven. What does it do again? <laughs> Whenever a creature does come, okay. Oh, that is very good. But Ayo get something, and that is awkward. Very awkward. I still think you get the emperor here. Oh, you're muted, Doogie, in case you don't know. But I we must protect the people. Strike fast and strike hard. Never done. Oh, that's the best Brothers War I've ever seen cast ever. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh. Yeah, they have two more where that came from. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, now you can cast the Denik as well. What is in Johnny's hand? I think Denik is a, a good play here. Yeah, Denik is very good. I mean, he keeps up in his make to spare for four, so makes it very difficult for Johnny to do anything. Um. Ooh, another one, and the man opens to make to disappear. Wow, very good. That doesn't do anything. Which I need to play around that make this appear so well. Mm. So well, he's got himself into really good situations all the time. And he gets to draw a card here for free. Yeah.
the good thing is there is this this, this this makes the still good with this wandering emperor, so there won't be any like blue eyes. Johnny having four cards is not a little strong. He's very patient with the magic. He's a very patient magic player, isn't he? Yeah, Johnny. Yeah. Well, I I had to leave the room for a minute, and I was sure that Johnny was, you know. Mm. This this make make this pair here is like. I mean, it's, it's not like he has anything <laughs> else to do. So. Yeah, so I, I just. So is the so it's not summoning sick. The four four isn't summoning. Oh my goodness! So we can crew the four four, kill the wandering emperor here. No, you can't kill the wandering emperor because it's tapped. So the no, bank buster is the bank buster can. The, sorry, the wandering emperor can. Uh, oh right, right, right. I guess the yeah, yeah, so, emperor can. Yeah, yeah, yes, it kill us now. I would have made that mistake. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Oh my yes, gosh, this well. is the swingiest game ever, my yes. gosh. Wow. Yes, indeed, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So you can name artifacts and creatures, effectively wipe Johnny's board, and, and then still get the well. minus off of the Wandering Emperor. But Johnny has two cards in hand, so... Yeah. It's not over it's, yet. It's not over yet. He needs to exile Grey Bears as well, just to... Yes, Johnny was a corpse appraiser. Yeah. Yeah, he gets. Yeah, that's that's good. I, I think I think what you're talking is like, oh. Johnny knows it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like okay, yeah, yeah, I have that. There's, <laughs> there's there's nothing else. Like there's no pump spell here. This isn't limited. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, does he pick Grey Bears? He does pick Grey Bears. Oh, pick Grey Bears, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. We can still make a samurai. Johnny does the three cards, I know that's three lands, wow. Jesus, both pain lands there. Yeah, he doesn't have any red open here, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. That could have oh, been just. Oh, wow. I, I was thinking he had to go there last turn, because the, the black was open, but I, I didn't. Uh, that so was really now funny. Wandering Emperor dies. That's huge. Yes. This, this game has been really good. good. This, this game has been so ebbs and flows. Um, at one stage, I, I looked at, at the screen and I was like, okay, Johnny's dead. Um, the game's over. At the very start of this game, when that Planeswalker was in play, uh, we, well, I said that anyway in my head, okay, Johnny's got a really struggle here, mm. but he really just turned it around. I think it was a really patient play as well from his side. I think he was, like, some of the players would panic in that situation. They'd make some bad plays to try to get ahead on the board, but he played really consistently well and he also has an action, another action card in his hand mm -hmm. so as we saw earlier some players were playing their lands out even though they failed Johnny and Dudan he's there he's two cards here now um they, oh wow oh. Wow. wow 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 so this game is going to be very difficult now oh, oh my gosh <laughs> he, he, he's he's really showing off here <laughs> Uh, he is really showing off here. That's great. That was really good. Game. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, he's so toxic. Game three. So toxic, Johnny. <laughs> so toxic. Oh, of course he did that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's just showing off now. Just showing off now. That's... Is he going to do anything else for the camera? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Oh, stop. And not attack. Stop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's, he, he's so he's so uh, nice to us by winning the game to 30 days. He, he couldn't take a risk that his opponent. Oh, no, he, he just he had no cards in hand, so. Yeah. Yeah, that was fine. I mean, technically, if you draw something to gain your life, 
right, on your draw step, then you'll still be alive before the the shoulder trigger kills you, right? The yeah. shoulder trigger goes on the staff when you already oh. have the card in your hand. Oh. Oh. Mark. What else? Was that game three? What? Was that game three? Did we just got lost in ether there? Is that game? That must be game three. Was that game three? Because Johnny Law yeah. won the second game as well. Oh, right. Yes. Yes, that was game yeah, three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was game three. That wow. was game three. Wow. That was such, that was such a good game. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. That was a really amazing game. I think that was really, really Oh, Chosen, good. did you make it? Chosen is here. Before we go to the finals, do we have someone playing in day two tomorrow? No, I just got five wins. Uh, I got bad luck in the last game. I had a double mulligan. Uh, like uh, game one and game three, I had them all again. That was unfortunate. That's right. Okay, that, that's still a good run. How about Dinfo? Mm, I don't know what happened to Dinfo. He never told me. Dinfo was playing. Oh, yeah, Dinfo wasn't playing this. No. So. Anyway, let, let's go back to the waiting room because we want to do the finals. Yeah, that was really good. Semi finals. All right, we are back. I will just enter the results. And then Zeket won, right? Zeket won. Yes. I mean, that was a really good game. Yes. And we didn't even, We're... it was so good, we didn't realize it was game three. Yeah, I. <laughs> Well, yeah, we, I think we just for, I just forgot it was game three because we, we you know, after the end of game two, we were like, oh, that was a really good game as well. And then it was game three because we jumped into, did we watch the whole three games of that? Uh, I, don't I think, think so. so. I think so. Yeah, we did. That, that's the that, wow. that's the game. We, yeah, we started watching wow. that. Yeah. Wow, that was, that was literally end to end. Um, I had said Johnny was losing the game at the start there in my head and wow I can't believe he turned that around that was really okay so before we go to the last round I would again just like to thank our contributors for the second Horde Masters tournament so uh, yeah as you can see coverage is like bare bones because we don't do this often this is like a once a year kind of thing and we'd like to thank all our uh, members who contributed to the prize pool. We have Claude, Chosen One, uh, Jonas Erbe, Seka, Doogie, Labgoat, Powerlaw, GD, and uh, of course the Horde Funds also made a contribution. So also congratulations to the winners of the raffle uh, of gem codes. I will send you the gem codes via DM uh, later tonight, latest tomorrow, most likely tonight. All right. Okay. Could so, we reminder who could we reminder who won those gems again? Mark? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So we the <laughs> you just want me to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Royal just... Monk won the six hundred one, and then Demonic Sakyabos won the one thousand one. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. <laughs> Demonic Sakyabos, your yes. great guy, our girl. Yes. All right. So ready? We're ready. Uh, Johnny's already there. <laughs> Is Johnny streaming this time? Yes, and Johnny. We'll watch I, Johnny. Yeah. Uh, I think the last game was so exciting. I, I do want to see what uh, what he does this time. And who is Johnny playing against, Mark? Uh, Zeket. Zeket is the Zeka. Okay. Is the other person in the finals, right? I mean, yes, he beat uh, uh, GD in December. Oh, GD made it all the way. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was. Okay. So Zeket, I'll transfer Zeket now to 1B. And I think Track is in 1B, so one maybe Track will, will watch Zeket. Yeah, would we'll someone watch Zeket just so, yeah, perfect. Um, and yeah. just so you have an idea of what's going to work. Yeah. Yes. And um, some of the sand as well. That was really good. Okay, so let's go. Table 1A. It's great. Yeah, and I, I guess like they know that uh, Johnny gets to choose play or draw, right? I didn't uh, announce that. Um, I can DM Zach it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zach it. Johnny, Johnny's on the jo Johnny's higher seed. Johnny started off with a bit of an advantage with the pair, with the the buys as well. He plays too much yeah. magic. That's all we. That's all we know from this whole thing. 
Mark, how many how many points did you have? Did you have the highest points of everyone in the horse? Yeah, because I started before everyone else. It's not because they like, I... yeah. Or maybe you play more magic than everyone else put together. That is or... sort of true as well. Although yeah. like the past few sets, I've been playing a ton of uh, of magic online, especially this set. Uh, I really got into playing the best of one drafts in magic. Did you? I told you this before. I think that there's best mm -hmm. of one drafts on magic online now. Yeah. But yeah. it's only available yeah. for a few weeks. It's not available anymore. But it's 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 much better value. I mean, it's like oh, it's not available all the time. No, it, they only make it available about uh, three weeks. I think definitely gonna play gotcha. that uh, in the next set. But yeah, I, I, I makes sense. Was, I think it was to help the economy as well. Imagine, like, because some cards were outrageous prices from by from the bots. So I think it was there just to help the economy, really. There. Okay. Yeah. That's... I mean, but it's not. The, 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 I I keep saying this. It wasn't very popular still. Like, it was a third of the people playing draft. A third. Yeah. Yeah, but as well, Mark, you do know that. Like, it, oh, oh, sorry, it was three times. Hold less on, hold on, hold on, guys, 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 guys. Uh, Zach gets picking who goes first. I DM'd him and said Johnny gets to pick, but yes. he's not. I don't know if he didn't respond to me though. So like yeah, he's yeah, picking yeah. right and now. I'll go. I'll go to the table. Yeah, he's muted though. Hello, Mark. Yes. So Johnny go. Yes. Yeah. So John Johnny gets to pick who goes first because he's higher seed. Oh, okay. So okay, I, I would perfect. assume that he wants to play first, so you can pick draw first. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And having a decent deck. You, you don't need that great of a deck. I mean, you need a decent deck, but... It's okay, play it's, it's, it's I, sorted. It's sorted. Good, okay. I think as well the seal can be very high variance, like we watched um, Jolto play earlier, and his opponent had four rares, five rares maybe, one, including the Wormcoil engine. Um, no, he so had like two like, mythics, yeah, he had Wormcoil and another mythic, and then he had a bunch of rares, yeah, like yeah, he had Steel Sarah and all that, so. It, it's just mixed steals, that's why my opinion on Seal is very low, because it's, it's very quality. I, I think it's, no, I think it's fine, like in the open I played Sealed, and I had a really bad deck, and I didn't have any bombs in it. I mean, I had one to fairy, but he only showed up twice. Uh, the other games, I just had all these like draft chaff, and I, I still was able to, to you know make day two. So it's it's uh there's there's, there's a lot of skill still in it. Even if you get a bad pull, you just got to make the best of it. Usually, it's something you can do with it. All right, so Zeket did Mulligan once. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, well, this is my kind of deck. Oh, the fact that oh, this is the deck I was running. This is the exact list that I had for standard. <laughs> Johnny's running. The, are they both running the same deck? They're yeah, all running. This is the best deck in standard. So like, I had this exact list. Like this is the list I sent you the demo. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Why oh, didn't you play Blood Tide though? It doesn't make any sense. No, it's it. it Johnny's not making this patient. bigger in a braid. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny's, yeah. Johnny's so patient. It's crazy. Because he's worried about. Wow. Hey, let's make this, why did Johnny make what? this bigger? That. Oh, interesting. Because he's going to abrade here and play the the, um, the corpse. Yeah, he wants something so he can corpse the prize. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Three patients. He's playing different than the average player. And he's going to get a land here as well. So. Gets that, alright. That's nice. Ooh, gets punished for taking a big, interesting play. Well, he can get punished because, like, he still got rewarded because he's gonna draw a land at some point. I mean, like, or else he would never draw a freaking land. You know what I mean? Like, he would. Yeah, yeah. He feels, yeah, he didn't get punished. He, he's getting rewarded. It's just a slow reward. Yeah, it's like, that's three non lands he got rid of. Curving out here is being important, I think. It was smart. Curving out here is important. I would still have made. I mean, I, maybe it's wrong, but I would have made, made disappear that Fables. because Fable is just. You, you, you deal with it with one card, you're very lucky. Whenever you yeah, deal with it, Fable of the Mirror Breaker with just one card, you deal with it cleanly. It, you, I think you're very lucky when you do that. Super clean. Yeah, I would have disappeared. I mean, he was holding up a braid to make disappear. I would have made disappear that one. That's fine. Uh, one for none. No, nothing off there. Could be a land. Yeah, there's the land. And there we go. Another course of That's a fine play. He's thinking maybe double spell here, which is a fine play. Or just single spell, yeah. just get rid of that, and then hold up 
Do you want to hold this? Yeah, he can hold up, make disappear, because then if he doesn't do anything, he does shoot doesn't Sally. Work, then you you kill the fable, you kill the uh, the shark, the mirror breaker. Yeah, I think he's holding this up for like Shelly too. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's to either or. That. He plays a big spell, you counter. He doesn't. No, counter, that. counter yeah, that. Yeah, counter that. Because <laughs> that's, that's a two for one. Yeah. yeah. And now you can hopefully draw land here, so you can double spell. Oh, there we go. And he gets to a break here as well. Which is really I guess it didn't matter if you draw land. He was going to be able to do that either way, so it doesn't hurt. Now no, the land down, allows right? him to upgrade. Well, no, he could have picked a land off of this, though, too. Yeah. So, so like, uh, it didn't matter if he drew the land, because he would have got one there. Like, statistically, I think it would be fine. Wait, why, why is he going to hold up here, right? For oh, because he'll just wait till it goes on the stack. He'll wait like, to see what they cast. Now he's not. Now, now you should have right? Or how many creatures are there? Right he's got to check. There's one? Oh, is there two, though? Oh, wow. How many are in his? I think there's just only one creature in the graveyard. He plans to make second spend mana first and then kill the 3-3. Three, three. That's... I don't think there's any creatures in the graveyard right now, but yeah, that's like the plan. He has to do it now here. Oh, do it now, Eric. Oh, do it now. Now score. Oh, he might have breeds the... Oh, wait, that's a good play as well. Yeah, oh, one that he would yeah. copy. That's, yeah, that's, that's what he was going to do. The yeah. next level Johnny stuff. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god. Know. <laughs> Wow. Clean answer, and he gets to play Shelly. That's game, yeah. Wow. Because the opponent's got to be low on resources at this point. Shelly... I'd play Shelly, but I don't know what he's into. I would slam Shelly. I, sh I would slam Shelly. It's so mana efficient. Yeah, and you can double spell next turn. They got to have an answer. They might. They might go for the spell. They don't. You know, they don't. They might have drawn it, but... I think this game is totally different than any of us. Yes! Game. Yes. Yeah, and I'm not sure how much different it could have ended up, but uh, oh, that's that's good. They, they topped like that, or they had it the whole time. You know, main board, yeah, that's pretty strong. They're in every, I think they're in every single deck. They're in a Chinese spirit one. Oh, that's main deck. Well, and what well, there's in is in the main board. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, Johnny has uh, two of the main deck. Wow. Soldiers, it, it, Santai soldiers, it, and soldiers, then... yeah. You could definitely put two in the main board, it's fine. I mean, you wouldn't play four in the main board usually, because it's mana. But, uh, but also just because, you know, if you play aggro, it's not always the greatest. Yeah, it's, it, it's not in... It, oh, look, look at this that. Thing. Wow. Yeah, you were a brother then. Oh, you here. What's the opponent doing on... Six See, mana? does the opponent have, uh... Like, the vamp... The 2 five vampire? The... No. Oh, the, the flash vampire? No. No. Go for uh, the road on that. Just look at it, he gets this, so I'm not getting any surprises. Does he get is running? Um. He get is also running about his main deck. Okay. I mean, might have the same exact list. Who that's, knows? that's probably just me not knowing. No, the Johnny body. has. Jenny has. Ooh, Ixus Command. That's pretty strong. Invoke's pretty strong too, though. That's the real decision. He doesn't need Blood Tide, is kind of good. Because if that thing flips over, but I don't think you take it. You can take Ixus Command and just get Blood Tide, so. Yeah. Well, imagine you're, you're just looking yeah, at your deck, yeah, and your yeah. opponent's going, like, what the hell did he put into his graveyard? <laughs> he didn't want to invoke? Yeah, what the heck? Yeah. You didn't want to draw three on an empty board? Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was, that was what I was thinking. He had that stuck. He make disappear was stuck in their hand. Johnny's been there and make disappear all afternoon. Mm. Or all evening. What does Zekit have? What's the worst thing that he can do with the command here? Uh, I guess plus... One plus one get two creatures. Yeah. Right. And uh, he's gonna make he's gonna sacrifice creature here and get two. Or creatures yeah, or back. yeah, Sa sacrifice creature and get two creatures. Yeah, that, that yeah. that's the best one. Yeah, he should attack first though here. He doesn't so lose corpse appraiser. Oh, he could lose that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. 
No, he, he needs to tackle his goblin so he can make sure he plays around. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that so one. that even if, yeah. Oh, that's... So he gets the extra mana? Yeah. Yeah, he, needs, he just uh, needs extra mana. Yeah. And even if you lose appraiser, it's fine because he just gets it back with big He just gets it back, yeah. I was yes. thinking about that too. I thought, well, you don't want to lose it, but then I thought, yeah. You get it. That's how you play magic! <laughs> there we go. Good yeah. Block. No, this is. downside of that. Uh, we actually were talking about this card before this tournament, and uh, we were just saying, like, oh, what do you think of this card? And Johnny was like, well, you know, just these grindy matchups, it's so powerful. Getting two creatures back alone, even if you do nothing else. We were talking about the, the two options you really want to use are the two bottom options, uh, which is to kill a creature. And mm. we put some counters on the Kiki Shiki. That is interesting. That is really interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Two I would have played, placed it on the. I right, so there was no consideration there for a Blood Tide Harvester. Uh, here we see the make this appear, Puppy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Johnny. Johnny doesn't like care. Yeah, he doesn't care. I guess that's why he got two corpse appraisers too. Because he figured the first one might get countered because of that. I was thinking, why don't you just get a... I would have placed two type. plus one plus one counters on the two two, just because... I guess he doesn't that's want... That's the one that actually attacks? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would have done too. It, it, it also has... Um, it's also you don't mind losing as much as the yes. Kiki Jiki. Yes. Yeah, so if you like put a lightning rod on it, it's like go ahead and take it. You know? Take the four four. He's still ahead here. On board presence and on cards. Yeah, cards. Oh, yeah. oh man, God. It's good to be good, isn't it? It's like, uh, <laughs> Definitely. I think the opponent's just holding a bunch of make disappears at this point. I don't know. Uh, just looking at his hands or his deck here. Um, did make disappear, cut down. Uh, well, he would use cut down already. Okay, braids. Okay. No removal. Okay. Brain. Brain? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's brain. Is there a world brain. there where you take the Otawara so you can bounce your own corpse? <laughs> <Yeah. your> own? <laughs> no, I don't think so, Mark. Uh, what's so good about a braid right now on the main board? Uh, it just kills uh, other corpse praisers and it kills Kiki Jiki. Oh, you know what? It also just kills um, oh, yeah. all oh, these yeah. new artifact oh, yeah. raiders. Like, uh, yeah. It kills, it kills um, Reckoning Bankbuster as well, which is really good at the very match. Oh, Bankbuster, nice. Yeah, you don't want to kind of get Bankbuster out of hand, so... This here looks like Johnny's gonna win this game. This is mid-range oh, wow. Chef's Kiss. Yeah, this is... This invoke now, it'll kill, finish this game off. Play in bulk, Johnny. Don't, don't, don't play around. Play in bulk. Yeah. yeah I mean, well, he can play around. He doesn't have playing around it. Yeah, it's like he has too much mana. He has all those treasures. Yeah. We're going to game two. It's a wonder Johnny can do his own thing to kill a creature, his own creature and then do it. Like, you know, the way he's been playing today. And yeah, so that's actually interesting to see how Johnny sideboards, actually, because we were talking about this other people today, and I think we kind of came to some conclusion that. Ooh, interesting. Oh, take the harvester. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? He takes it for for sure. Yeah, that seemed like a dead card for you in the back room. It doesn't seem to be taking out Brother Sand, or at least not a good value card. Ultimate. Yeah, Sorin is good. I like the other invoke. Mm -hmm. it, that is interesting as well. He likes Delvin, where lots of people slide out Shouldred. Mm, I wouldn't try that. Shouldred in the match, huh? Shouldred is still like. Yeah, it doesn't give you it doesn't give you any card advantage in the mid range battle, true. But it's a must answer, or else it's going to it's it's your win con. It's your it's not your value engine, but it's something that demands an answer. And if you he's don't have an answer for it, you just oh, win. he's keeping he's brothers in for the bank buster. Yeah, that's true. And he's not setting his own bank buster as well. Okay. Yeah, well, he's going to the full value minus. package. Ooh, and he's putting out all the harvesters. Ooh, is there just one so can copy it? Do the rest is why why is the rest in? Because there are counter spells. Is that it? Because like I, I, isn't I, the mid range one on one thing don't don't put counter spells. I think he wants the invoke, so a lot of people well, like I remember you were telling me not to sign into Rasses, but a lot of people put them in so they can grab the the Gixes and the uh 
uh, command and they, they invoke something. And I, I think at the draw as well, Mark, it's much better than on the play where um, you you can get their like uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker or you know get their Reckoning Bankbuster before they get into play. Okay. And okay. I think I think on the, on the draw and on, and because you are actually drawing cards as well, you get that kind of advantage. It's not. Because you're already on the draw, so you do have some advantage, yeah. so you can lose. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. Now here, this is the mall. This is and so this keep. Yeah. Full transfer of seagulls. Uh, yeah, full transfer is the easiest pick, yeah. Sounds quite good, so. Ooh, that was a poor draw, but that's fine. He's just going to... Ooh, that's going to get upgraded. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Oh, is he going to wait? Uh, I... Mm. Do you want to wait? Would you Would you wait here? No. no. There's a little draw off of that. Yeah, I... I think it's interesting because turn three is usually... Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Mm. You're kind of encouraging your opponents to go Fable here. Oh, but uh, it, yeah, yeah, it uh, yeah, it shouldn't wait. I thought that this Daneful Stroke was a negate, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's gonna cast. Ooh, he's gonna cast his own, own Fable. fable yeah, yeah, because there's yeah, nothing for a uh, to appraise. That's interesting here. Do you block with your Goblin or do you not block with your Goblin? I think. I don't think you block oh. because you can you can even go invoke next turn depending on yeah. what, well now you're not you don't have a choice. Uh, now you won't have a choice. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the stainful stroke goes here. But tight now this try side is out. I think it's interesting that get okay, in now. Yeah. Yeah. It's tossing the shoulder so you can get it with the. Or core of surprise. Yeah, so he has lands here. He's again Ooh. short on lands. Yeah, that's why he, he tossed it. That's why he tossed it. Oh, sorry, sorry. That's why he, yeah, he needed to. I, I, I keep getting confused on the the harvester what he's targeting. Yeah, um, the appraiser. Yeah, what he's targeting. Yeah, what he's looking should, at. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep getting confused on that. Yeah, Zach does here. seem to have a very good board though. Here's no, where Brother's End would be awesome. Fantastic if he draws it. Right, land because... here would be very good as well. What? Ooh, land would be good as well. Uh, land oh, yeah. would be okay. Yeah. We would get the lily and it would. Brother's End. Brother's End. <laughs> Brothers Man. End, one copy, Brothers End. Let's go. Draws Brothers End here. Oh, okay, there's no. the land. He's, he's oh, still yeah, Vogue. Yeah, Vogue's still strong here. Maybe better than Brothers End. Well, not better, but... Uh, still good. Yeah, it's nowhere near as good. But still good. Uh, he actually deals, kills three things here, unless unless they oh. get one to oh, sacrifice yeah, their reflection nice. for the creature. And then he only gets two things, and yeah, okay, that's what he wants, okay. And then draws the card. Okay, that probably gets the other invoke. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this this game is still really open. Yeah. The thing is now that Johnny has the Corpse Appraiser and the Kiki online. Yeah, he'll take enough damage. Has he has six, light to damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the only thing, thing is he doesn't have enough damage. life. Yeah. But the next turn now he can... Ooh, okay. Ooh. That's an additional thing. That's a really good draw. Uh, that yeah. land is quite good for Johnny as well. Yeah, because then you'll have the Stainful Stroke yeah, available. Is. Shouldred, I think, right? 
attack has to show it though, but he can make a creature with the. Yeah, Actually, he's still alive. What? Yeah, he's still alive. What's the. The only problem is here, he, when he makes a corpse. To, what's creatures in the graveyard? So we know we can't see really. We can. Um, no, I think. It's interesting there. Like, the shelter in the graveyard might be just as good as in his pond because he gets the corpse of praise again. I don't think there's any creatures left in the graveyards now. So when he reflections, he won't get. Oh, that's. That's not horrible. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, wow. I don't think there's any creatures left now in this. Just check. Okay. Yeah, but now he can play the shoulder, be safe yeah. for, and he can deal three damage. He can attack with the corpse appraiser without an issue. Yeah. That, that will go through. The the token, yeah. of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, so it shuts off his opponents. Well, it doesn't shut off his opponents. Uh, his opponent fatal, but it does. You know, he gets an advantage if his opponent discards the fable. Oh, he doesn't discard the fable. Interesting. No, that's scary. That means, like, if it's a removal, then it's a. Well, okay, he does. Cool. Interesting. Removal here is much better than a big spell because. Oh, he can see the disdainful stroke, so there's no yeah. secrets there. You can see Johnny's hand. So removal would be great. No removal would be oh no removal. I think he's got an invoke or something, yeah. Could be. Still no Does targets have... for that, right? Still no what's that work? Still, Still no targets the for the corpse appraiser. No. I think he's going first, bro. Go for the throat mm. on the corpse appraiser? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh. Look, life is big for Shiny yeah. as well. The only problem is this fable is going to. Get a bit out of hands. The fable can kill the Kikijiki. And yeah. the fable can kill the other fable. Uh, right? You can copy the harvester. Oh, I don't think he wanted to put that land down. He could have could have traded a blood token for that, right? Yeah. But if he wants to, he can go for the win here by just not doing anything. Because then he can copy the fable, the other fable next turn. That would win him the game. Now he's gonna gain six life here, or tw six life here all this turn. Because he's gonna discard the disdainful stroke and the pump bridge, so it's not really sure. good at the game. Wait, wait a second. Can you just swing all of them in the game right here? Mm. One, two, six. three, four, three. You just swing. Yeah. Uh. Yes. He doesn't know that the he doesn't other know card that one card. He doesn't know that one card. But he could swing all of them. Yes. Here. Yeah, because he got Johnny can only block. Oh, he doesn't do it. Oh, okay. So he is going for the. Wait. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is so sick. And he's gonna get six life here. Wow, that's really strong. And he's gonna draw the cards. Oh my god. Alright, so that second might have just pointed this because he had lethal. Yeah. You know what? He should have just went for it because uh, with the two around the board. Yeah. Uh, with the active mirror, uh, fable of the mirror, moonbreaker, and the shoulders, the life was going to push him too far ahead. I think he might have got a little greedy there because he was thinking I have the better board. Like I can just reflect it. No, no. He he was point. thinking that he could kill him. The kill, kill, kill him at end step. And that one card is kind of like scary, but. I you think yeah. Stop, if you though. if you analyze everything, the correct play would have been to swing with everything because there's only one card, right? You you can lose to that one card, but if that was a removal of some sort, you have to think back on maybe uh, he would he should have already used it at some point in the game. Very likely. 
This is interesting as well, isn't it? Yes. Well, because what does the smoke, does the invoke despair get Johnny here? Because um, the, the combo finish is still on the table. Still on the table, yeah. Yeah. And doing the invoke doesn't, uh, yeah, because doing the invoke doesn't remove the combo finish from the table. It's so going to attack here, see? That is attack what one creature with the Yeah, token. I don't think, yeah, even if he attacks here. Even if he attacks oh. here, since he has no removal for that reflection, uh, Zeket can just block any which way he wants and still kill uh, Johnny by the combo. So the, the invoke was a big draw, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I think it would have been better if he had cast the invoke and then try to draw yeah. removal for the, for the reflection. I think that was the better play I think he could have just invoked and they would have been fine right he just gets rid of one of the GKs and the, the, the combo won't oh right no 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 well no oh, because he, be, he no, can... because he can then copy that one of them uh, and then on end step use that to copy the other so the combo would still be live gotcha But now he has he is at fourteen, so maybe he, they need they need to have seven more creatures. There's the combo: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, they have they have enough. I wonder did what they see that uh, interaction. They do. That's that's the precisely the reason why they didn't do anything. They, that's precisely why they didn't risk uh, the previous turn to that one card. They wanted it to be clean. No, no, no. I'm saying did Watsi did Watsi uh, the Watsi notice the the this interaction with the two Kikis here? Oh, okay. Like oh, suppose that? that Johnny did invoke despair. Maybe. No, no, no. No, no, no. Well, if Johnny did invoke despair, he would stop the combo because like, like it could be a legendary or something, you know? Like, like they could. Uh, no, it, it wouldn't stop the combo. Is what I'm saying. So because... would stop the combo. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I uh, did. Watsi notice the combo though as well? In... I don't think they did. I don't think they did either. No, because yeah. I didn't even notice it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's a, I didn't even notice the one with blood tide for a while. It took me a while. Somebody like a couple months ago was like, "Oh, you do a blood tide." I was like, "What?" I was like, "I never knew that." <laughs> I was doing other things with it, man. I was like, I don't know what did all this. Copying your goblins, so I think you can copy with it. Yeah, I was doing completely different things. I mean, I was playing it for like a year without even realizing how good yeah. it was. I was yeah. there. And look what we do talked about, Mark. Yeah, yeah. To get yeah. The dresses. yeah, so very shaving one anyway, like, you know. I think, yeah. We haven't seen Blood Coil Serpent be cast yet in this in this tournament, and I want to see that. <laughs> I'm just like waiting for it to be cast. Uh, my whole my whole this whole day has been uh, on tender hooks waiting for that one card to cast, and every round I've been looking to see our players playing it in their deck, and they're not. And I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to see it. So hopefully this this game it's my last chance to see it in this tournament. So I want to see it. I want to see it just being so swingy, like where it's just draw cards, scary cards, and deal set six damage, trample damage. Yeah, trample damage, right. I, I just want to see this happening, so. Um, it's all, I've, all I'm looking for. Now, it's probably Johnny will draw it with one land in his hand. It'll be, it'll be cursing me, but. <laughs> like, if this was a land, I would have this problem, but no. Uh, yeah, draw play is very important here. Okay. An acceptable hands. Yeah. Like, oh, oh as a point well then it's interesting. Interesting. The pawn keeps six. That's a big question. Is pawn six? Okay, pawn keeps six. I just realized that they both have the same pets. Plus, I don't know where that pet comes from. 
Uh, I think yeah, maybe it's a person mark. Yeah. Ooh, interesting, <laughs> interesting, interesting. This bonus, look at the brains there, which means ooh, oh, can't go get our hands. They need one more land. Yeah, one they probably land, have Bankbuster, maybe, or maybe they they're valuing Bankbuster. Oh, there we go, Bankbuster. Yeah. Well. Oh, oh my gosh, this game could get completely out of hand there. Yeah, but there, there are counter spells, so it depends on like if. Oh! And then wow. no land. Oh, oh my gosh! This is just huge. This is huge. This card is absolutely not fun. You just do this. And Johnny is looking at seven cards in his hand, and he can cast two fables if he wants next turn. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's... Well, that's gonna get go for... Oh, he can keep up Fable. Because Fable and... Well, I think there's a Make Disappear on the other end. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's interesting, Johnny's doing this now. That's very interesting. Yeah, I wonder what, what the thought process is on that one. Oh, crew here. Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, they, they crew, they can't draw. There's no reason to crew, though. No, there is no reason to crew, but I think they're thinking about... <laughs> is that, is that the, the thought process? I think mean, <laughs> like, you should crew I... this. If they crew this, they will be very interested. Go on, crew it, squad. Crew it. For no reason, crew it, please. Okay. <laughs> Sounds. That was a weird, weird play. Why did Johnny do that? Yeah, it's, it's strange to me as well. Oh, I guess he, he may want opponent to tap out so he can play the other invoke. Yeah, but if his opponent plays invoke here, does he not just that crisis board effectively for... Wow. Wow, he got so lucky here. Oh, wow. So now he can invoke and have make disappear mana up. Wow. Game is nuts. Uh, and he's just, oh, imagine your opponent is just scared with no cards. Oh my gosh. This, this invoke, the invoking, this opponent's gonna cast make disappear. Yeah. This is interesting now. This opponent cast make disappear, Johnny can't do anything about it. Yes, he can. But the only thing is, the only thing is that he can anchor his opponents make disappear and swing back, which is going to be very important. Okay, that's fine. On, that's fine. Yeah, so he, yeah, he, he has to like with this. Can't with this. But, but can the opponent did not crew the... Crew. Uh, so he can, Johnny gets in the next wait, wait. two points of damage. Johnny could, Johnny could have countered that make disappear. No, no, the there, are, there are two copies of it. So he counters no, no, one. No, no, no. Oh, he you mean counter it while losing his, his creature. Yeah. I'm yeah. surprised he, I guess he didn't want to do that. He no. That. no, because now he has the he has the advantage here. Like, for sure, for sure. He yeah, has a good advantage here. Now, he also has... This, this soul transfer is where he goes... Oh, why doesn't he have... Why doesn't the soul transfer work there? He doesn't have a target. Oh, he's not a target. Sorry, okay, let's... Okay, well, he'll, he'll have a target next turn. Ooh, uh, Tapper screwed Johnny there. Did it? Yeah, because he, he, he tapped his blue source. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. No, but he, unless he wants to swing here, it's not, he won't be able to play both anyway. So he has, he needs just one blue mana. But that's not really a loss. He, yeah, okay. He, did, he didn't have to play the Soul Plane Harvester, he could have kept up the two mate dispers. Um, but I think he realized very quickly that it did what it did, so. Still braid. One, two, three, four, five. So he can still counter and invoke here with Make Disappear. Oh. But that doesn't does that have a target? No. No target on him. 
Oh, oh, it does have target. Oh, it does have target. Oh, sorry, Johnny didn't have target. He is a target. It's crashed. Yeah, for soul transfer, yes. he doesn't have a target. I think he just lets this go. This go though. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting. I think Johnny's actually. That could be behind here. Somewhat depends on how those make disappears play out. Because mm -hmm. if he doesn't get good use out of them, then uh, yeah. But I think one might go into his. I think one might. Mm, uh, I was gonna say one might die here, or one might be uh, use blood token, but probably not because he needs the soul to, or the blood tide harvester to yeah or something. So interesting to see what happens here. It's one thing about crewing. Okay. Yeah, I think this is an easy four damage to take. Hmm. Also, he can still ditch them to Fable, so that's fine. Yeah, there yeah, he can, yeah. Nice, so now he does have a target for soul transfer. Yeah. And he still has an enchantment and uh, an artifact. Yeah. So he'll take four here. Question is how many make disappears do you want to ditch? I think you want to ditch both. Opponent has too many lands. That's why he draws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. draws 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 counter uh, invoke with because he has a creature snack. Yeah, Three, four, they, there will be like. Mm. Yeah, but if opponent draws one more, if Zeket draws one more mana, then then that wouldn't work unless he uses both make disappears already. Oh, that's so interesting. It uses the blood. That's really weird. It uses the blood, or it uses the treasure rather than take the pain there. That's interesting how Auto Tapper did that. No, the Auto Tapper didn't do that. The Auto Tapper will not force you to use. It will not prioritize treasures. Oh, oh that's interesting. Harassed. This is interesting. Now you gotta make the spear because you got yeah. harassed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Andrew. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's really so. This this is an easy duress. Plus the soul transfer can get Soren back, right? It gets yeah. right. It gets a creature yeah, yeah. planeswalker. Now is that an invoke? This is gonna be an invoke for sure. Ooh, oh, back post is just as good though. Just, it's good. It's, it's good still. Yeah. Oh, it's going to use that now. Right. Oh, so that you can he can swing in for. Yeah, let's swing in here. Oh, uh, this is really good. This is really good. So he's expecting a trade? So no trade, what now? Do you just play the Harvester? I, it's gonna play both. Oh, can he play? Oh, I don't, no, I don't, I don't think both. he put the Harvester on the board because he can other Harvester both. is killer, right? He's gonna play both. No, no, he's gonna play both. He can play both. Yeah. Put the Vampire, put the... He play both. We all love double spelling in magic, and that yes. was a good double spell there. Like, that was a trick, like, they did for three spells a turn. Okay. Well, of course, the razor was a good draw. He needs something big here. And uh, Volk would be good. It would kill the planeswalker creature and the enchantment. But he can't cast it. Uh, mana for. You can't cast it this turn. Oh, you can't cast this turn. That's actually. That's really yeah, very can't. relevant. Here. It's really relevant, yeah. So swinging for four, for three, three we can't swing three creatures at Soren because then he'll die. Uh. Can't swing. Letting Soren live would be also bad because then Johnny will start drawing cards. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't like to use the exposition here. What's 
Squad is the player here. I think he, he'll burn both his timers here for sure. Think about this. Yeah. I don't know what either. Uh, he could kill the Harvester crew. Okay. Crew there and. Mm. Yeah, and just swing one. Can't swing both because then it's easy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah. I need a huge life total. There's, oh my god, that's, that's, that's so straight. strong. Yeah, that's an awesome drop. That's really strong. That's like... Those two tutus can chop all day. Free draw. Real, brilliant. And I wish the blood can, they can yeah. change them to something better. Yeah, that's really strong. When those blood tokens are dead now as well, so... Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Does he swing with both? Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's in two life. He doesn't need to block next turn if he doesn't want to. Yeah. Because the negate sort of seals the deal here, right? Yeah. Because... In Invoke is the best card that um, Sigat can play here. For this board, anyway, at the minute, because it would take three spells off or three a creep, yeah, dress. Yeah, Ooh. Well, that's. Do you want to cycle? Yeah, okay, you want to cycle your negation? He's draw a creature. Yes. Oh, land is very good. So now he gives Johnny a chance to cycle if he does play this invoke. Yeah, yeah Invoke cool. was the best card, but Johnny doesn't have an option to cycle. Oh, he doesn't. Ooh, cycles a creature. Even if he cycles it, uh, oh yeah, he can still he can still play a counter spell. Yeah. Yeah. So he needs one more thing here. Right, Zeket needs one more thing, like a removal, a one mana removal, which is a tough, yeah, tough ask after sideboarding, but who knows. Oh. oh, the corpse appraiser is very oh. strong. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Johnny, don't do it. Don't do it, Johnny. Don't do it. Don't do it, Johnny. Ah, oh, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Bad man. Bad man. So that's it. Wow. That's it. That's it. The Sword Masters. Those games. 2022. Those games were very swingy, weren't they? Like, either player there was... I think the last game, obviously, Johnny was ahead there, but... As we saw from that turn there, yeah. anything could have happened. Like, it was really good. Really good game. Yes. The, the, the Grixis games are really interesting. Like, I think they're really... They're, now, I, obviously, they're quite annoying for people to play, but to watch, they're very watchable. Um, there's lots of happening. They're they're not quick. There's the lots in that game. That's good. We'll wait for Johnny to join us. He'll have to do his little post match interview. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. Who? Nick. Let's unlive himself. He's muted. Can you unmute him? And yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, can I wait? Let me let me try to do that. I I don't know. I don't think I can do that. Wait. Oh wait. Uh, I can, uh, just message him. Yeah, I can't. I can't force someone to undeafen. That's just a message. You sent him a message? Yeah, it's a message. Oh, Zekat is here too. Well played, Zekat. Yeah, it was a really good game. Really good really, games, yeah. Very really good games. That was amazing to watch. Uh, I just sent him a message, so we'll see if he read it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes, that was an amazing game. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was a really good game. I was very nervous. No, 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 you played really well. Yes. Uh, you won against, obviously, in that game as well, which hurt. Uh, <laughs> I don't, like, there was a few... There was, I don't, there was no like things where we're like, oh, that was crazy, but no, all the game, like all the plays were really good. I think 
yeah, I think you just got the mull is really hard, like you know, especially when you're on the the, the you were on the play last game, or when you were on the draw the last game, yeah. Yes, um, it's still a really good game. Like, um, I don't, I, it, we were just saying that like, I know Grace is the best second standard, but the games are really interesting to watch. So they're really swingy and invoke is really powerful because they can just completely change the board or can you know whoever if, if there's no board you can still draw three cards and really kind of swings the game it's really good but it's really good game and I think the decision making is also yes yeah there's loads of they actually think Johnny plays the deck as well he plays it really grindy mm-hmm. we were watching other people play the deck as well and I think his decision making is really interesting. Because on I, point. Yes. Yeah, there was, there was a decision where Fable in one game, it was at the se- semi finals mark, where we were like, where, why is he not playing Fable? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was this, game, this game, right? Is it, is it this Maybe game or the was, previous one? Yeah, it was game one. I think it was game one. He held okay. up like an upright because he wanted something in the graveyard for Carpet Appraiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. he hit his land drop. I was, I, he got punished there, unfortunately, Johnny, but he still managed to pull it out. No, it's chosen um, pointed well, out. If, no, if he didn't... I, uh, that, that play, uh, that game I won because of I, because I did all the corpse appraising and he got none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you would have missed your land drop like an hour had you not uh, corpse appraised and, yeah. and not got a land on those, those top three. Yeah, but I found it very unlikely that I wouldn't hit one of 27 lands in four cards. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I thought that was a great play. Uh, I, 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 you, didn't hit the, you didn't hit the land on turn four, though, when you did Corpse of Grace. So no. you, just, you got unlucky there. Like, that's what we were saying, actually. You got unlucky because you made like oh, right. interesting play, but you got unlucky that you didn't hit your land, actually, at the time. Because that would have really encouraged your art really well. Uh, yeah. But, but, like, I wasn't too mad about it because I just feel like every card just matters in this game like i'm a tree mom i can do stuff and just wait until i get to that five like invoke despair is incredibly powerful but like there's ways back you you don't have to play it right away and just getting it uh, just trading resources every time and eventually one player would flood out and you don't want to be the player that floods out yeah yeah I do feel I could have played game two and three tighter though. Love the sugar scaling to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, in game three we were like you you were you seemed so patient throughout the different games and then game three when you play the uh go for the throat on the two two on your turn, we were like so this is different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it. See, it was just a, a different kind of style that you were playing other turns. Like, you know, you had an option yeah. to keep the counter spell open, but you go for the show with the Blood Tide Harvester, which yeah. I, I I wasn't sure. What was the logic there? Um, I didn't want my goblin to keep creating treasures. Like, I didn't want him to open tap and kill the goblin. Okay. So, so I so figured uh, like he was stuck on uh, he only had one red source and like um, if he wants for example to place a braid um, he might not be able to kill, play anything else so just like okay I want this goblin to survive I want to like keep generating and I want to make his mama work as difficult as possible for him Okay, that was really interesting, actually. And yeah. also, like, um, another concern I had, like, I uh, wanted him to think, oh, yeah, Johnny has a water removal spell, because, like, he had the option of, like, crewing in response, and, like, if he didn't, I would get the attack. So then I would be running into the 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're limiting his options. You, did you cast a uh, Blade Coil Serpent this whole tournament? Is there anything I want to ask? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think I did uh, play it. Yeah, um, I did play it in the quarter. Um, the game was, the match was already won, but like it uh, just like sealed the deal. Um, yeah. Smash in as a hasty 6 4, drew me a pair of cards, and smashed the. Uh, the last card out of ten, which I thought 
potentially could have been like an Ungonjo, which would have made him live another turn. Okay, interesting. So, um, how do you find the Cold Serpent? That's the only question I have. Uh, I think it's... Unnecessary? Uh, I think it's one of those cards that's like, if you can return a creature, it's the best creature to return. So it's like in a late game, it's it scales very well with Tolls, Transfers, and Geek's Command. That's like my only take on it. And like, I think it's a, a lot of Grixis decks aren't that prepared for it. They're like, okay, yeah, I'll go for the troll. It will answer any creature he plays. Yeah. yeah not an r type creature. Yeah, but they do have brain cells as well, and you train your deck, so those, yeah, those yeah. three options to avoid it. And even then, it still does something. It'll make them discard a card, could be that braid, or it'll make them, um, you know, you'll draw a card and it'll replace itself. So, you know, it's really much just so. Like, the only concern is it's getting countered. Um, the, like, um, I was really, like, expecting. Um, him to like get more grinded with me and cut back on the threats. So game two, I was like really sad. I only kept one Brotherhood's end. Yeah. And yeah. also, I was like um, play uh, like when you I put the two counters on Reflection of the Mirror Breaker. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah we that talked about that. That was to play around potentially he having the Brotherhoods and. Oh, okay. That was interesting actually because yeah. we t we were like, why did you put on the Goblin? Because the Goblin, you know, your Mirror Breaker was very important to you uh, mm -hmm. in the long game. So we were kind of questioned that as well. Because if you lost your Goblin, like the Goblin was putting pressure on them, and if you lost your Goblin, it probably wasn't as big a deal. Where if you lost your Mirror Breaker, it seemed to us at the time that it was a bigger deal. But yeah, I can see what you're saying now that you were playing around. I think you were also playing around Braid by doing that as well. And Cut then, so you were playing around all these different cards. You were playing around second, effectively three cards by doing that. That was interesting, actually. I, but, I was making a scroll for control better. Mm. So I wasn't like that concerned with like a Braid. I just thought, like, okay, how does it get back? I think it gets back with Brotherhoods and. Okay. That's interesting. And what about what about the force? Um, sorry, I asked another question. But what about the force? Um, invoked spare. Do you think it's always right to cite in for uh, or the the extra invoked spare when you're on the draw? Um, this matchup, I feel it's like it's it's what it's about. You're only a bit afraid of like the rest of getting it countered. Mm -hmm. That like what you have to play around. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's certainly way too slow against most aggro decks. Like the Gates Command uh, also fills the five slot and it's just way better against aggro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. that's true actually, yeah. But it is really sucker. And you cast as well, which I was delighted about. Because we talked about that earlier, I asked you about that card earlier. So I was like, well, this seems a bit like, clunky, but it did actually do the job in that game. Yeah. You got two Corps of Razors back with it. And yeah. Well, I entered Bush, and he's still got two back, which were really, really strong. Yeah. That's cool. Very happy I was correctly played around that counter spell that turn out. It would have been like very good to put counters on and get lifelink before attacking. Yeah. But I need that extra pressure to be able to play around that counter spell. Yeah, and you played around make disappear like all day, every game. Yeah. It's really well. And you never upload it at all that I've seen. And mm. so that was good as well, like, you know. Yeah, so sometimes I just had to ram my head into it. Um, I get in the semi final because, like, I couldn't, like, I didn't have yeah. to play around with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's fair. Like, but I think that was good. And then, the, was there any cards that you, you probably cited in, like, like the certain cards in your sideboard or your main deck that you, you didn't use or you thought were bad? Every card seems to be like every card seems to be like. I, I, I like the one off of that deck. I think because you, yeah. you filter through so many cards, you see so many cards of Corpse Fraser and see so many cards of Baby with the Mirror Wrecker. I like the one offs because it just lets you have that diversity. And um, well, I think the I it's think still framing and I'm bringing it up right there. So yeah. Can, um. So I I guess I didn't like play. All four, four, three brotherhoods end ever. I didn't like face any. Bro, yeah. Um, did you have the soul transfer as well. The soul yeah. transfer, like, 
is you've done the main, so you need to do the sideboard. But you did side it in that game actually, so it's just the grinding element.